All right, guys. Oh, gone. Big news. A um, lot of happening here. A lot is happening here. <laughs> Um, I want to I thank everyone who actually responded to our Instagram story that we put out. For those who are unaware, I put out a story replying yes or no. If you would like to be part of our one-year special episode, um, pretty much just to commemorate one year of this podcast, to thank each and every one of you for supporting us, watching. Um, that being said, I'll just release. I I wasn't able to reach out to everyone individually. I'll just kind of say whatever our, what our plans are. <clears throat> Basically, we would love to have everyone, anyone who wants to participate on this episode. Um, so basically, it would be start off with just us, the guys, talking, doing our thing as usual, and then we'll let each and every one of you in one by one, so you can share your comments, your favorite memories. Just say, you know, if you want to say just a quick few words, or just say hello. And then at, by the end, hopefully, if everyone stays, we can have everyone on one episode at once. It'll be beautiful, and we just we want to see all of you there. So if you want to be a part of it, please reach out to any one of us individually through the Instagram, text message, however. Um, and yeah, thank you. And we're all Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Lightpole Podcast, Season 2, Episode 39. I am back. Well, I'm Darian, first of all, with my co-host, Kyler, uh, Joey, and Wiley. We got all four of us here this time. I didn't forget to say you guys' name, so we're good there. Um, Today, we are going over movie news. We are discussing uh, what-if episodes. We are discussing Star Wars visions, and then we are getting into our favorite or some of our favorite movies from the 2000s. Um, So, without further ado, let's get right into it with some movie news. Wiley, you want to drop us with the first one? Uh, sure. Um, so November twelfth is Disney Day. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that. So there's a lot no, of new things thing. streaming. Is that a bank holiday? I, I wish. I wish. You know, yeah. I wish I could have it's that real. day off of work. But anyway, November twelfth this year, Disney Day. Uh, so streaming exclusively starting on November twelfth will be you can watch Shang Chi out of theaters. It'll be on. Um, oh yeah. It'll be on Disney. Also, Disney's Jungle Cruise, Home Sweet Home Alone. They have some Disney Olaf stuff. But, you know, Home going sweet forward. Home sweet Home Alone. Alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't know. But what? what's really more important is they're going to have a Star Wars and a Marvel special look. Um, which mm-hmm. entails a Book of Boba Fett special look on that day so we'll get our first glimpse of the boba fett show oh that's what's up what's a special look like a like a (laughs) like part of the show like a two three minute they'll probably show like um like behind the scenes i'm assuming like some behind the scenes like people talking about it probably some clips here and there kind of like what we got for like the andor series you know like that oh okay yeah um something like that so so the, the making of the star wars one is definitely confirmed book of boba is in there i don't know what other projects and I don't know what they're going to show for Marvel. Wow, I am so excited to see anything from the Book of Boba. I can't yeah. wait till that thing drops. Or is anything that, new Star Wars related. Is that still slotted for December? I believe so. Yeah, I don't think that's changed. Yep. Which okay. is pretty close for us to get like a first look in November. You would think like this month we would get like a teaser or something. Why so, is Disney doing that? I don't know. They're playing it close to the best. I feel like, like this is the first time that they've had this much content coming out in one year and they're just kind of working through the speed bumps of how to release trailers and balance it out you don't want to rob this of the attention because hawkeye comes out when late november right Mm, so you got to balance that out early december like a christmas type of true all right um this is big guys this is big news and i'm excited they announced today that a Super Mario Brothers movie will be coming out on December uh, 21st, 2022. They announced it like 10 minutes ago. And like, yeah. the 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 cast is what's getting me excited. Okay, okay, wait, 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 hold action? on, hold on. Yeah. Is it live, it's action? live action? Yeah. No, animated. Oh, is it animated? Oh. This is oh, animated. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> I I prefer okay. animated. So when I saw the cast. I don't know what I would do if it was live action. When I saw the yeah, cast. Yeah, never seen a live action one. I was expecting it to be live action, so when I saw the cast, I was like, "This is gonna be garbage." But now that you're saying it's animated, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm fine <laughs> with it. So yeah, go ahead. So we have 
<laughs> let me let me read it to you. Playing the fraternal mushroom digesting plumbers and squashers of turtles are Chris Pratt as Mario and Charlie Day as Luigi. As Princess Peach, it's Aunt oh, Anya Taylor Joy. Ta- uh, ch- ta- Charlie Charlie Day from Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim from Sunny with it. Ch- Sunny and always, yeah, always Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh my god, playing Luigi, yeah. the high voice, it's perfect. Oh. Dude. It's perfect. I love Charlie oh. Day's voice. I love Charlie Day. I don't know about Luigi. <laughs> I, I think yeah. pull it weird. Up. I'm skeptical of Chris Pratt uh-huh. and Mario, but Charlie Day, I'm fine with as Luigi. That's so Anya, I, Anya Taylor Joy is Peach, and get this Jack Black is Bowser. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, Keegan Michael Key. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Keegan Michael Key is Toad. <laughs> what? Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong is in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be a rated R movie? <laughs> no. Fred Armisen is Cranky Kong. I don't know if you know who that is. And do you guys know Sebastian Maniscalco? Know Kong is. Yeah. 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 He's Who's playing that? Spike. Sebastian Maniscalco. That's that Spike. doesn't help. What is he in? He's, he's, he's like one of the biggest comedians in the world. Yeah. Family friendly. Okay. I have to look it up. You he's playing know. who? Spike. Spike. I don't even know who that is. That's but... one of Bowser's little That's minions. He's like cool hair. Oh. This gets, dude, this this cast of oh, like. It's such a random cast, though. <laughs> so it... Batman, Skelka, what the heck? Literally <laughs> none of them mesh. Literally none of them mesh together. None. I can't see it. Maybe. That's Chris a Pratt. hodgepodge. Maybe Chris That's Pratt true. and Jack Black. And Keegan the Michael Key. Then you have Anya Bowser Taylor Joy in there. Exactly. Like, yeah, Grammy Award winning actress of drama shows. It Anya sounds like they actress. just took like a bucket and threw like names of a whole bunch of celebrities and just said, okay, Mario <laughs> is now they Chris Pratt. Okay. Charlie Day is gonna yeah. be Luigi. <laughs> or like they have Listen. like the dartboard wherever it lands. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I, I am all for this and i cannot wait i i think i think we deserve a good super mario bros movie not to say that this is going to be good we have i don't think no anyone idea. has ever said that sentence before ever what we all. absolutely I deserve know as many the, games as we've had i want to know what That's the animation so style is going to be though if it's like the video games right. we're going to have some sort of like weird animation or is it going to be like sonic where they try to make it kind of like cartoonish yeah realistic at the same time Oof. We were doing the podcast when they released. This was one of Sonic. our first episodes when we went over Sonic. when they released the first oh, bad trailer. The animation was and mo- <laughs> one of the movie skunk. news. Yeah, one of the they movie news was it. us being like they had to update it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how bad it was. <laughs> they had to do all the reshoots for everything. <laughs> yeah, they fired so many people. At the <laughs> okay, before we continue, I have to sure. apologize because my throat has been like a mess He's for got the last the few vid. days. Yeah, I Yo, might. He's got I don't know. Though. Oh my goodness! I've been coughing like crazy. Been safe. So uh, apologies if I bust out Get just really randomly with any coughs. Yeah, that's Shut kind up. of it's kind of disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what you get for being an anti-vax? Johnson. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. Dude, have you seen the keys that are sticking to people? Ain't no way I'm letting that happen. Anymore. Oh God, don't even. Uh-uh. Give me my horse dewormer. <laughs> um, let me not. We don't. We're neutral here. So, um. <laughs> I'd like to get your guys' opinions on the Denis Villeneuve comments on Marvel movies. So, in essence, and in my opinion, this was just something that he did trying to garner some free advertisement for Dune. Yeah, I also agree with that 100%. Which is the same thing Scorsese did when he was promoting The Irishman. He goes, something bad about Marvel, and it gets everyone's attention. Fair enough. He said Marvel movies... such thing as bad press. (laughs) Yeah, he said Marvel movies essentially were copy and paste. And he called them zombie movies, if I'm correct. He just said, that they're just like he said it turns the viewers into zombies watching them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, can I share? Yeah, please. Okay. Let me let me hear what you all guys right. have said. A lot of respect for Denis Villeneuve. All right, great director, great. Learn how know. to say his name. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> a lot of respect, but I don't care that much. I think he just had a stroke. Um, <laughs> Denis Villeneuve. Yeah. Put some respect he, on his name. <laughs> He has a point to a certain extent. Okay. Agreed. Marvel does have a formula. We can't deny that. We say it ourselves. We go watch yeah. a Marvel movie and we're like, oh, that felt very Marvel. 
Mm-hmm. Then we watch something different and we're like, oh, that wasn't the usual Marvel formula. So obviously there's a formula yeah. to it. Does it turn us into zombies? I don't think so. Um, I'm also a little concerned with like his intentions of it because Chloe Zhao had was just praising him. And then like a few weeks later, he says this right when her movie's about to come out. You know what I mean? So it... That yeah, you know what? That comes off like like uh one of those Holier really yeah, one of those really conceited, like uppity guys, you know, where all the little yeah. people are like, You're amazing, you do such a great job, and he's like, I know. And mm-hmm. like although that's what it felt like. To if me. I'm not mistaken, in another interview, he did he did talk well about Chloe Zhao. Um, where he said, um he was like, you know, her movies, the way she she brings them to life and stuff. All two of them? <laughs> yeah, she has. Yeah. She's very few, but it's because she imitates him. She likes to imitate him. Yeah, and, and she's. He said her like, style. She he she invites life, and she's. He's like, I wonder how you can invite life into a Marvel movie. So again, he's kind of like passive aggressive, you know, backhanded comment. But I don't know. Yes, Mr. Torres. Go for it, Kyle. I I have I have thoughts as well. Go for it. A hundred percent agree with what Wiley said. Um, I think there's different types of movies i think a movie uh, and again i'm gonna go back to the same thing i always say christopher nolan you go into a christopher nolan movie that is a three-course meal <laughs> that you're getting a marvel movie for the most part is candy it's it's bubble and there's nothing wrong with that they have their their pros and their cons both of them we were saying before how sometimes Christopher Nolan movies can be a little too intense. With uh, Darian said that with Tenet, how it was a little much. You have to watch it a few times to even understand everything that's going on. Marvel, you go in, you don't even have to pay super, super close attention, and you get pretty much everything. For the hardcore fans, if you want to really dig in, then you can look for the tiny details because they're there. But for the most part, it's, it's a very light meal. Whereas Denis Villeneuve is probably going to be again with Arrival. That's a hearty meal. That's that's a that's a heavier movie. So they both have their places within Hollywood within cinema. Yes, and I feel like people know. <laughs> We're just uh, raising Wyatt, our hands Mr. now, <laughs> Mr. 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 Rager, right there. I don't yeah. want to interrupt anyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, please. I I just thought of something else. Also, yes. Marvel has a formula, but you, we also have to understand that these aren't original stories that mm-hmm. they're just now being thought of. These are all in the comics. So Marvel isn't in the adaptations. business. They're adaptations, exactly. And you can make the argument, oh, you can still make a comic book movie, but still make it like, you know, deep and, or, you know, like Joker, for example, the newest Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But the intentions behind that Joker w- movie wasn't to make. A comic book movie it was mm-hmm. to make a deep heartfelt meaningful story disguised as a comic book that just so Lit- happened to be about a comic book character literally yeah. todd phillips the director he said he made it a joker movie movie just so he can get approved and funded to make the movie that he wanted to make so yeah. joker was literally just the name of it but that's not what the point of it was what marvel is creating is literally what you know a lot of people grew up reading what we saw in animated shows but now in live yeah. action so, to a certain point, there's only so far you can take it with in terms of like, you know, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. <laughs> yes, second row. I, I agree uh, <laughs> about Mr. Uh, director. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all to power to him. Even try. <laughs> <laughs> all power to him. But um, <clears throat> Marvel, like you guys said, has a formula. But now we can see with the newer movies that they're trying to like change it up a bit, spice it up a bit. Wait, with Shang Chi, you look at the trailers. It looked like a completely different action movie. You have Eternals. Eternals looks like a freaking art piece. And mm-hmm. Doctor Strange coming up is going to be some form of horror. So Even I mean, like it, WandaVision, look how weird it was at the beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Was, what happened there? We just raised my hand. Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, me. Um, COVID-19. Man, this probably got the Delta. Uh, <laughs> got leprosy. Goodness. Man. <laughs> So I, I feel like even though in, in 
we would be hypocrites if we said it's not sort of cut and paste because we've said plenty of times there is a formula. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're all we're all sticking by that. Hundred percent. I can't disagree with that point. Yeah, no, yeah, but no, I not think at all. it's important to acknowledge that we like the formula. Yeah, it works. <laughs> It works. It creates fun movies that we love going to on opening night with friends. You know, an artsy piece like The Green Knight or one of these A24 movies isn't going to do that. And they're not trying to. They're doing something completely different. So when these people like Scorsese or Villeneuve tried to look down on these on these movies and stuff like that, it rubs me the wrong way but at the end of the day i'm not going to put too much attention on it because he's a great director it's just for attention that's all it is you do it when dude's coming out as we spend 15 minutes talking about him (laughs) it just comes out as like kind of like being a hater because obviously what what are your intentions behind this they make money they make more money than your movie is gonna make or ever will make you know what i mean yeah um and i think that is what the the motivation behind these comments are is just a tad bit of jealousy and i understand it i get it but you know it depends That's not the time. it's not you know That's like it's not it, the time <laughs> but why do you have to be like that though if credit like credit Villeneuve, is due, yeah you know? definitely bought like, tickets for every movie so it's what you shouldn't you shouldn't have to crap <laughs> yeah. on other people's work to make your movie look better no that's that's so true that's, that's the wrong way of going about it as a director, I feel like those classy directors know you don't talk trash about other directors' stuff. Mm-hmm. Spiel, when was the last time you heard Spielberg say something was garbage from another director? It's just not something. Especially when those movies <coughs> rake in billions of dollars. Can we get Shut like up. a cough count? Can we get a cough count? Oh, right no. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I warned you. Can you, can you just... Run and grab a pepper for me. Taste it. Let me know if you could taste it. If you can't, we're good. That's good. <laughs> a pepper? Yeah, a pepper. Or something. Something Let hot. Me... A garlic clove. Why? If you can taste it, we're good. COVID. Why? Buddy. COVID. Some pe- Is that some what happens? Lose their taste. Yeah, some people yeah. lose their taste. I just had salmon that Crystal made with like seasoning. Were you able to top. taste it? Yes. It was very good. Okay. All right. Was, just want to make sure you I don't, don't have COVID. No, I just have like. A really like itchy. Throat. I will keep asking you throughout the episode. You know what's yeah. a okay. also interesting about his <clears throat> comments? Two of the people, at least two. I don't know how many more. I have to look through the thing again. At least two of the actors in this movie, main actors, are in Marvel projects. You got Zendaya, Batista. and you got oh yeah, oh, yeah Batista. Right. You got Zendaya, and you have um Oscar Isaac who's playing Moon Knight. So and you have Jason, Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa as DC, as DC. Yeah. yeah. So it's like these are comic book actors. We're all like <laughs> you're like ranking on Marvel. Like, Yo, we just did a movie for you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> Darren's face. <laughs> yeah, but this okay. doesn't this doesn't take away from my excitement for Dune whatsoever. I am. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to watch it now. Well, I wasn't yeah, going to watch fine. it anyway. So. That's True. perfectly fine, guys. Movie's going to be I'm garbage. Just... Nope, their reviews are already out. Um, just you know, it's not it sucks. You know, you know what would anyway. suck if Darian goes in and he gives a movie like a three out of ten. He was like, "That was <laughs> no." He's like, "Yeah, guys, it, that wasn't it." <laughs> I will be completely honest with how I view it after it's done. Mm-hmm. I don't, yeah, I, I don't, I don't bump it up because I like the look. At Nolan got a seven for me with Tenet. You know, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. <laughs> I know we all probably saw the Instagram post of Marsha Lucas's comments on the new Star Wars trilogy. Did you guys yes. read that? Yep. Yep. I didn't read Ooh. the full article. Marsha Lewis. So, remind, me, remind me. Lucas. Um, it sounds familiar. Original editor from the, you know, New Hope, Empire, Return. She's George Lucas' ex-wife. Yeah. When was uh, this? Um, she she just said this a few days ago. Did you, did you send it to the... Uh... Oh, oh I, okay. Yeah, 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 I see it. Mm-hmm. So basically, she said, I like oh, wow. Kathleen Kennedy. I always <laughs> liked her. She was full of beans. She was really smart and really bright. Really wonderful woman. And I liked her <coughs> husband. I liked him a lot. Now that she's running Lucasfilm and making movies, it seems to me that Kathy Kennedy and J.J. Abrams don't have a clue about Star Wars. They don't get it. And J.J. Abrams is writing these stories. When I saw that movie where they kill Han Solo, I was furious. I was furious when they killed Han Solo. Absolutely, positively, there was no rhyme or reason to it. You don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars, and you're getting rid of Han Solo. 
And then she goes on to mention how they killed Luke and they don't have Leia anymore. So they've completely evaporated what Star Wars was initially about and created into this PC soft. Uh, they are, I mean, they are pretty old, yeah. though. They're going to die yeah. off eventually. So I, I <clears throat> totally understand Han Solo. I'm, I'm not upset. I do, about too. That. I do, too. That doesn't bother me. I was pretty pissed with the way they killed Luke. They did Luke dirty. That yeah. was garbage. <laughs> that whole Luke totally story. unnecessary. Not at Leia, all Luke's character. Leia no. should have died in space. I stand by that. <laughs> that was the most garbage scene the Mary of Poppins. the entire Star Wars saga. That was yeah. absolutely ridiculous. Yo. Luke, I did not care for. Han, I think they could have done the story a little differently. I'm not a huge fan of the whole Ben thing. I know that that's probably a hot topic, but that's fine. Um, but I wasn't mad when he died. I was surprised that they actually went through with it. But when it got to that scene, you're like, he's going to die. I Yeah. Really know he's going to die. Yeah. You it's can see time. It. it was a very but, weird final scene anyway. Yeah. Um, I totally agree with, uh, I mean, Carrie Fisher, there's only so much you could do because she actually, she actually passed away in yeah. real life. Yeah. Well, that's the way she said it. She was like, and now you don't yeah. have Leia. So it's like, you know. Yeah. Can't but do I think that. I think they should have ended that earlier. Mm-hmm. They they dragged mm-hmm. that out more or just done away with that scene. Don't yeah. have her get sucked out into space. That was ridiculous. Yeah. But I, I totally stand. I uh, understand her comments about the direction yeah. that they've taken things with the movies. I love the books. I think that's great. I love the projects that they're doing, Visions. We'll talk about that soon. But the movies have been, in my opinion, a pretty steep decline from the others. Um, If I'm not mistaken, she not only was criticizing the sequels, but also the prequels. Because I believe she said that when she watched The Phantom Menace, it made her cry from how bad it was. Wow, I did not see that. Yeah. No. She's George Lucas's wife? Ex 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 wife. Ex wife. Oh. Yeah. Were they married when he made no, the I Phantom believe, Menace? I believe they split before that. So, so they she's did not see together. Yeah, they did the original. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. like, but she also babe, you suck. Yeah. She also said this, which which is like spot on. She said, and they're spitting out movies every year and they think it's important to appeal to a woman's audience. So now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers, but we don't know how she got Jedi powers or who she is. It sucks. The storylines are terrible. Just terrible. Awful. You can quote me. Abrams Kennedy, talk to me. <laughs> so she laid into them. And She's I'm not like, wrong. She's not wrong. Yeah. Patan was stupid. Let's, nothing, let's <laughs> nothing wrong with having a female lead. Perfectly fine. Oh, if you do it absolutely organically, but the right way. Exactly. Don't force it and then not follow through with half of the things that you brought up throughout the movies. There's so many questions still, and it's like they didn't execute anything no. very well when it came to Ray. Like, and it has at- nothing to do with Daisy Ridley either, because I know she gets tons of hate for it. She has nothing to do with it. She's not the director. No, she's no. An she's actress. an actress. She's just doing her yeah. job, you know? And this was her one of her like breakout roles. So it's not like she had much clout to begin with. And I remember when The Force Awakens came out, every like people weren't hating on Rey. They were I remember the conversations being like, How is she so powerful? What what is the history? And everyone was like, Well, we don't know yet. We're gonna find out in the next movie. So I'm sure there's gonna be a good reason. <laughs> I rem- I vividly remember being like that. I'm sure there's gonna be a good reason. They're gonna explain she's not just a Mary Sue powerful for no reason. <laughs> yes, she is. That is exactly what she is. She's powerful for no reason. They made her character 2D with no depth, and they did her so dirty. And then they did Finn even worse. Don't even. Mm-hmm. Dude, don't even. Finn should have been terrible. The lead. Finn should have been the Jedi. Finn's story they was like, it. yeah, it was. It was. That's it how, been so that's much how better. they presented it. That's what they made everyone think. And the fact that they, they used him said, they all kept the promo. saying it and never actually let him mm-hmm. say it out loud. <laughs> I like that's so infuriating. Why? You kept going the whole last. Yes. The whole I last. Tell you so- I, Ray, gotta I tell you. I tell you something. It's like when you have a sneeze and it gets like uh, right to the point and then it just goes away. 
Like, did you did he ever say it in the movie? No, no. that's what I'm oh. saying. He oh, man's like 42 in the movie. He's too scared. That is so. Oh my goodness. And Boyega's. He. We've gone over this in movie news. He hates Disney now Rightfully because of that. So. And I, Rightfully so. I get it. They yeah. did him dirty. They did him completely dirty. That's some frustrating stuff. But, yeah. Again, don't get me wrong. I love Star Wars. I'll watch any Star Wars movie, no matter how bad I think it is, because at the end of the day, it is just more Star Wars. But I don't, because I don't like the whole gatekeeping thing. I don't like how toxic the fan base is, because yeah. Star Wars fans are the worst fans. We are the worst fans. There's no denying that. There's some other fan groups that are slightly worse, but I don't want to anger them. Uh, so. I don't know about that. <laughs> Star Wars fans are pretty bad. Uh, We're up there, but there's there's, 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 there's worse. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Have you ever been to a Philadelphia think... sports game? Any Philadelphia sporting game? <laughs> or any Detroit Any Detroit game? game? Oh, God. Just, That's... Just okay. deplorables all well, yeah, yeah. I mean, within, like, fandom stuff, not, like, mm. sports teams, because I know that gets violent. Yeah. But... I, I, I enjoy going and, and getting more content and stuff like that. I don't like the whole gatekeeping side, but I also don't like the, oh, like, let's petition to have this movie, like, removed altogether, like, scrap. I don't think that's really necessary. It is what it is. You don't have to like every single part of your fandom, but the, the toxicity gets a little too yeah. much sometimes. I agree. All right, so this next story, Wiley, I, I don't want – I don't I don't want no comments. I don't even want to see a face that you make. All right, all right. Turn Choose your camera off. Yeah, turn your camera off. <laughs> I'm just, Choose a face oh, and I'm make like, it now and that's it. I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> I'm just going to be eating my food. <laughs> this has to do with Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, God. Spider-Man it's, no it's not a leak. It's not a leak. But it better not be. Tom Hardy uploaded a oh. picture to Instagram. Of him wearing a Spider-Man No Way Home cast and production hat and then removed it a few minutes after it was posted. Does that mean anything? I don't know, man. I feel like we have to take that seriously, dude. That's all I'm saying. Can we move on now? Why are you the way you are? Me? Yeah, you. I'm not so Joey, sick just sitting and... there. I'm so well, that's a valid <laughs> <Bye>! question. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of Spider-Man, to be honest. I, I'm i honestly, like, really, really tired of it. I, You know, I don't it's, feel the same. It bothers me how much people just won't show. Just leave, leave it alone and go watch the movie. But yeah, it's I not agree. like... We shouldn't leave it alone, but he dropped the ball on that one song. Yeah, it's not... The... Okay, fine. You think that he's actually going to be in the movie? Of course I not. So. He could, I you think could he's going to buy a hat. Be... I, I, you don't think he's in the movie? Over no, under fifty percent? You already? No, yes. of course not. Why would he be in the movie? Oh, it's, it's not like he's a main Spider-Man villain. I don't know. He comes from another a different universe. universe. Right? It's a totally different thing. No, uh, what's his face? Adam, Andy Circus? Adam Circus? What is it? Andy, right? Andy. Andy Circus said they're gonna go ahead, Joey. They're gonna be exploring <laughs> Spider-Man in the next movie. Yeah, hundred percent believe that he's probably gonna be in like a ten-second clip. Just if I have to go words. over under, if I have to go over words. under, I'm going ninety percent. He is. If he is, okay. Just wouldn't it be better to be surprised? What a you disgusting go to watch human movie. Yo, you know what? You know what? what a we disgusting get tickets. Human we get tickets. Being. Let's just get a whole roll. Let's put Kyler all the way like on the opposite end. Oh, of the, right. of the I'm excited to see the movie. It. I'm excited to see the movie. I'm just so sick and tired of hearing all this COVID nineteen having news. So the Emmys, all the Emmys theories. came out, and the Mandalorian didn't win one Emmy with twenty nominations. 20 uh, 20 nominations one division one two right or, what or, or. no one no, division didn't get any either they didn't get oh, any good <laughs> get, out 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 out. get out of here with that mess. <laughs> I, thought, I thought um they got nominated for some too i thought elizabeth olsen won two but i could be confused no they what, won what were they up for oh man with 20 everything from vfx um, episode, most of it was vfx and stuff mm-hmm. like that Probably sound, sound, score, sound. Yeah, they sound were up for the score because oh, Ludwig freaking murdered that one. It's so good. Yeah, I mean they should have won for that. FX. Yeah, they won a bunch of stuff at the Creative Emmy Awards, but that's like uh, really. second that's tier. Like, yeah, that's like one of those <laughs> whack awards things that nobody. The Dundies. <laughs> yeah, that nobody cares about. Um, um yeah. who who ended up winning? That's a, was it like artsy pieces or was it 
it was those no big drama stuff. shows, you know, The Crown, Handmaid's Tale, oh. um, all Is those. Salon? Yeah. You know how that goes. Let me see. Did Don Cheeto yeah. win anything? Ted Lasso won a bunch. I haven't seen that, but I, I got to watch things. that, man. Everyone says Ted Lasso yeah. is amazing. Why would Don Cheeto win an Emmy? He, he, got, he got nominated for Emmys when just his little cameo in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Don Cheadle was... What? He got nominated he for, Falcon like, Best Soldier? Supporting... In the first episode for, like, 20 what? seconds. What? Best Supporting Actor? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Are you kidding me? Why can't I remember Don Cheadle being in that episode? Oh, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're like right. When he was yeah. when he was talking to Anthony Mackie about yep. screwing up, giving up the shield. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He got wow. supported. For, he got uh, nominated for an Emmy for that. Has Don that's like ever won any award? That's like Tommy Lee Jones so. winning Best Supporting um, Actor for The Fugitive, yeah. the Oscar. Yeah, like come on, Don come Trudeau on award. Let's check. Has he ever won an Oscar? <laughs> ah, best yeah. actor in 2005. Good for him. Hotel Rwanda. Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, yeah. We Did called he, it. I wonder if he got it. Yeah, he deserves that. Hotel Rwanda is amazing. I should have included he, that in my best 2000s. He won it. Uh yeah, I believe so. 2005. Makes sense. Um, well, Wiley, you got another one? Well, yeah. While we're on the Don Cheadle um uh, type of stuff here, um. So as you know, there is a show coming out called Armor Wars, which mm. Don Cheadle, uh, Rhodey, will be the main character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the main character? He's going to be the main character. He's going to explore his backstory, a lot more of him and stuff like that. Um, more interested in that than I want Terrence Howard to make an appearance. Yeah, right? Imagine. <laughs> <The> multiverse. <laughs> multiverse. <laughs> um, That'd be awesome. <laughs> So, so, I, I, my favorite thing is that it's a picture of when he's uh, in the first Iron Man. And he looks at the suit. And he's like, "Next time." Mm-hmm. <laughs> then there's the Xbox <laughs> notification, like last online, like yeah. four years ago. <laughs> 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 that freaking killed me. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. <laughs> uh, no problem. Um, yeah, I'm gonna read it off. Minor spoilers. Nothing crazy, but you know. So it says, here's what I've heard so far about Armor Wars. We'll feature the return of some core Iron Man characters, such as Morgan, his daughter, Pepper, and Keener. Harley Keener, the one from Iron Man 3. The, his the last name was Keener? Keener? Yeah, Harley Keener. He was a little the, kid. The, now he's huge. He was in the yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we will learn more about Rhodes, who should be one of the main plots. Um, we will also learn what happened to the Potts Stark family after the death of Tony um, Stark. And it says there will be an initial formation of the West Coast Avengers. <gasps> Vision and other familiar faces are expected to make an appearance. From everything Vision? I have heard, it will be a very intense and immersive series along the lines of the MCU and will feature Zeke Stain, which I believe is Obadiah's. Obadiah's? Son. Son? Yeah. Obadiah. Give it to me, Obadiah. man. I'm, all, I'm down so for that. that. It's pretty is it interesting. Vision? Is it going to be yeah. White Vision? Back? Yeah, White Vision. Yeah. It's It's. All of this is in white vision, right? Yeah. Yeah. He transferred everything to him. So now he's literally just a he's peaced out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to the West Coast. West Coast Avengers. <laughs> I love that. So now we'll have the, the Hawkeyes in West Coast. Yeah. Avengers. Hawkeyes in West Coast. Yeah. Um, that sounds it was so much more interesting Iron than Man Hawkeye. Was in it. I mean, <laughs> Hawkeye looks dope, though. The trailer looks fun. I like Did it. we discuss the trailer on? No, because no. it came out in between. Okay. We got to discuss yep. that today. Just two minutes. On the podcast? I, I think it came out right after our last episode. So yeah, my voice got really that. high when I asked that question. I have one more, Darian. That sure, I would sure. Like, I would like to. I would like to. Mention, I have a few more good ones too. I would like to mention, and I will not comment on it, just because it's a little controversial. If you guys want to continue mm-hmm. speaking about it, you can. I will. Mm. I don't know if you've seen this. <clears throat> this is not confirmed, but it is highly oh. probable from multiple sources that Marvel Studios may drop the men from X Men to appeal to all people. And that Let's is go all on I'm going to gonna say subject. about it. Let's just go on to the next subject, please. <laughs> before before Wait, we start something, I don't under the men. It won't be, be X Men. 
It won't be X Men anymore. It will It'll probably be X. just oh, be X. Oh, drop the yeah. X. Yes. Okay, okay. I that totally stop interpreting that sentence. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not, From I'm the name, it would probably be just like X or X. That whatever. is the X folk. X people. That is disgusting for one reason, and it's that Stan Lee created the X Men. Exactly. exactly. It is not their job to tell him what he should have done with his characters. Who are you to change it to the to whatever you want to change it to? That is that's all I'm gonna say about it. Yeah. Just yeah. I just okay. Again, not to get too deep into the subject. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and not to offend anyone. I don't think it's offensive. I just maybe coming from the perspective of a male. I don't think. <laughs> I, I know <laughs> my opinion. We need to normalize Wait. unironic and really. <laughs> when, well, I'll give my opinion. When I it's, see it's X like Men, it... I don't think of male female. I just think of yeah. the group X Men. That's I don't just their think, name. I don't think saying X Men is going to be offensive to any gender. You would think, but there's 12, 27 year olds on Twitter that are probably up in arms about this. Yeah. That's what no, this there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. I found it on Twitter. We're there's a lot of people like, about the fact that it's, it's X-Men. called X Men. X Men, yeah. yeah. But it, men, in this sense, it's it's not a boys group. It's it's a generic, it's inclusive. yeah, colloquial yeah. term like maybe hey, that's guys, why though. It's like saying, "Hey guys, come here." That could be a group with seven women and and one guy. You're just saying, "Guys, like who stay this?" It's like people, hey, guys. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm not a woman. I'm a female. Stop. Um, <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> I, in, you know, what, so what kind of frustrates me too is that, like, okay, keep it X Men because there's so many, like, some of like the best heroes in X Men are women anyway. So if you want to do something, just focus on their stories. You got Jean Grey, one of the most powerful characters Storm. in Marvel. Storm. You know, you have so many people. Even Rogue. Rogue is dope. Like, you know what Rogue. I mean? So it's it's just a name. It's, it's just a name. Yeah. yeah. But I don't I don't think they would do that. No. And unfortunately, as much as I want to say I wouldn't watch it if they did that, I love the X-Men so much. Oh, of course. And I, I cannot wait for that movie. I just really hope that they don't do something so blatantly uh catering to this this group of people. That that's just so crazy to me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that's that's a that's a lot of like well, getting rid of what like history type thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say without saying something that could be taken the, the wrong name way. holds more more meaning than the, just the name recognition. A gender, yeah. Name recognition alone is is gonna just drop right yeah. off the face of the earth because you say x-men everyone knows immediately oh marvel mutants mm-hmm. so and so, so on. you could make what i'm seeing x mutants or something like that what i'm mm-hmm. seeing is that they're thinking of possibly calling it mutants and from what i'm reading it's kevin feige is the one that's yeah. leading the charge so you're hitting this if okay mutants that's, that's not bad i agree it's not bad no, you know that X Men are mutants, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But I, I want to hear calling X-Men it like X people or something like that. It's but, just yeah, if like if we watch the movie, be like, "Hey, mutants, let's go!" And I'm like, eh, it don't work. <laughs> yeah, it don't. Do they even like to call themselves mutants? I feel like that might be derogatory. Like, derogatory in the movie, <laughs> like X three. Well, I mean, the whole movie, the every... last stand was about that. Yeah. Well, all the new ones are like mutant and proud. That was literally the slogan through every single one. So, oh, you're right. Okay. And well, it's... that was them. That was um, this uh, mystique's mistakes, side of the people, yeah, right? Yeah. Embracing mm. the Magneto and all term. that. Yeah, they did and the whole the line. whole thing is it's Professor Xavier whose name starts with an X, and it's like his group, it's his, it's his people, it's his students, his, his group. Yeah, uh, X Men. Wow, that so is how would how would you like skirt around that? <laughs> That's, That's not... interesting. I want to go from one controversial topic to a slightly another one, but not a crazy one. We've discussed this before, but Daniel Craig finally finally commented on whether or not he thinks uh, 007 should be a woman oh, yeah. agent. And you know what? Exactly what we've been saying pretty for perfectly. 
exactly we've what we've all months. been saying yeah for months the way he said it was the answer to that is very simple there should simply be better parts for women and actors of color why should a woman play james bond when there should be a part just as good as james bond but for a woman mm-hmm. i mean that is That's, so eloquently put yeah he uh, said it, you don't need to redesign me. the characters make a new one yeah. for them and make, make them one. better it frustrates than me when they're like oh no it has to be equal so stop making him a man and make him a woman that's not being equal that's being exclusive just take him and make him a counterpart make a make a female uh mi6 agent agent who can be with him in the movie and then get her own spin-off series of movies exactly there's nothing wrong with that it does you don't have to completely change the character rewrite the character to be jane bond or whatever it would be and there's a market for this i mean look at um kill bill volumes one and two those are regarded as one of the some of the best action movies of all time Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. female leads uma thurman Thurman, right uma thurman yeah okay and it's like there is a market for that if it's done well you can't Mm -hmm. just shoehorn something in where it doesn't belong take a white guy and put him into black panther that just does not work i don't want to see a puerto rican in Wakanda as the Black Panther. <laughs> yeah. I don't it just oh, yeah, doesn't. <laughs> don't want it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> no, but it, I, I totally agree. And I I don't it, it's frustrating too because you can tell that they're trying to push that sort of thing where they have a lot more. Uh, female lead action movies and that's great the problem is i feel like they don't get the same type of attention when it comes to the directing and the production of the movie it gets the attention once it comes out in theater but by the time it gets to that point the movie already kind of sucks yeah like they didn't do a very good job with it so then everyone is like oh no you just don't like it because it's a female lead like no i don't like it because it's a bad movie i wish it was better I yeah. wish yeah, they did a better the job with it because bad. then yeah. we yeah. just want good movies. I, I mean, we don't care. And that's what I'm saying, especially if a movie is made. I mean, if a character is made and their gender or their race is baked into that character, it's part of who they are. Why change that? And James mm-hmm. Bond, I feel like the masculinity that he has since the 50s is such a big part of that character the swooning the women and the getting the lady at the end of the day and driving away in the nice car. That is James Bond. That's just a classic staple. It's the character. You know what I'm saying? So that's like what we were speaking before uh, during Falcon and the Winter Soldier with uh, Elijah or Isaiah. Yeah. yeah. Isaiah 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 Bradley, Bradley. Isaiah Bradley. (laughs) And Mm. Derry had the perfect explanation where, yeah, no, there's no way that would have ever made sense to have a black Captain America in the forties. It nope. would not have happened. Yeah. You can't say, oh, no, that's just you not watching it. No, because it literally would never have happened. Historically can't not, happen. Yeah. In America, <laughs> no, not a chance. Can't now, by history. perfectly fine. That's no problem. But that would not have taken place back then. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not the... I mean, and it's not like... Happened. It's not like you can't make good female lead action movies. Like perfect case to me when a movie that i enjoy a lot salt with angelina jolie uh, yeah. salt has such great rewatchability I love, too i love mm-hmm. salt love female it. lead action super dope yep. like you know what i mean uh Wonder jennifer Woman lawrence great. jennifer lawrence in hunger Wonder games Woman. yeah true if you make a character that is deep and three-dimensional and has a backstory and makes you either like them or hate them for different reasons you have a recipe for success. Doesn't it matter. It doesn't the matter gender. what the gender. Doesn't matter the race. Doesn't None. matter the ethnic. Nothing. As long mm. as you have a mm. good yeah. character background, that's mm. fine. But it, it it just feels like when it when they try to do that with a lot of these female leads, they just fall short. Like I don't know what the problem is. Why they can't get it right? Maybe it's because they're too in their own heads. I think they're and they're trying too, too hard. They're trying to too it, hard. Yeah. yeah. And then it's it just it becomes corny. It's just corny and just it becomes not, yeah. really tropey, and when it's like you, okay, you're forcing it. When you try too hard, you start to focus more on the things that's going to pinpoint it as oh no, they mm-hmm. did that on purpose. Oh no, they're really just trying to say something. It's like there. the oh, scene in really Endgame. Just, yeah, 
mm-hmm. the all female scene in Endgame. Yeah, that yeah. you could tell that was forced. Whereas when they did it in Mandalorian, Mandalorian. In the season finale, I didn't even notice. It was so natural. I didn't even notice till like a day later. I was like, wait. They were all and women it, in that elevator. It and, was you know great. I mean? like, yeah. They did in a the, great. That whole scene was epic. Yeah. In the podcast, you guys it. told me. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. I literally sat here and was like, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not trying too hard. They're not forcing it down your throat. Whereas in Endgame, great movie. Fantastic. Miraculously, yeah, all it. the females. Just, but just it's just, and then they together. do the whole pan out and they're all walking, the slow mo walk. I'm like, okay, they were all like, we're in the middle of a war. We're in the middle it's of a war. All, <laughs> there yeah. were points of the battlefield that somehow all converged on that one. Don't yeah. do that. They deserve better than that. Those are great characters. Yeah. I think, all the characters I think, have been great throughout the movies, but don't shoehorn it into the movie and force it to be a thing. I think when you build the story around a gender or some type of one of these new progressive things instead of building that around the story like story always comes kind first you don't build the story around the actor or around the gender or anything like that mm-hmm. unless it has to do with the story unless it's about you know women doing something that only women can do or something like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's not the case with this stuff so i it thought his comments movie. were good the same thing happened with um uh horizon zero dawn yeah, yeah. The, the name of the, the game, game? great game i loved it but the developers uh something gorilla something i forgot Sorry. the name of the developer but they something like that they um they didn't really have a whole bunch of publicity saying oh my god we have like this super awesome female lead they made a mention of it They're like yeah the lead character you play a female that's it you don't get to choose yeah gorilla the games. uh gorilla, gorilla games, games. Mm-hmm. you don't get to choose the gender it's just a female and then everyone else after that was like holy crap she's awesome she has all this like depth she's uh really cool blah 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 blah. Really but cool the developers themse- yeah, yeah the developers themselves weren't pushing it saying hey buy this game because it's a female lead they're saying hey we made this awesome game it just and- so happens to be a female yeah, lead. yeah. exactly the, the main character is a female that's just part of it that's fine there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to make that the headline now yeah on, on the same line of thinking, a team of scientists and entrepreneurs announced on Monday that they've started a new company to genetically resurrect the woolly mammoth. Yep. Oh, that's been going on for years. No, but they're actually doing it now. Like they're, they're starting it now. They've been working on it for eight years, just planning, mm-hmm. and they've begun. They want thousands of woolly mammoths on the Siberian tundra. What have we not learned from fiction books and movies about this kind of thing that's gonna ruin well, it's the ecosystem not... that's gonna ruin the yeah everything. you can't mess with nature oh what, the, what don't humans get snow creature from star wars that's what's gonna happen man i'll tell you right now it's my, wampa. my wampa? thinking <laughs> <laughs> very different <laughs> if you're gonna put them anywhere put them on like the North Pole, where there's like nothing they can mess up. Or, or My thing is, Siberia's pretty big. Oh, yeah, they they died before humans ever got around to screwing with the environment. So they died because the they the Earth was no longer able to it sustain was natural. them as a species. It was natural. They, yeah, they'd gone for a reason. You know what I mean? Yes, like, that's it. That's all. That's <laughs> yeah. it. That's so, the end of it. They're gone for, they're bring gone them for back. a reason. Don't bring them back. <laughs> Bringing them back. Unless you're constantly there saying, hey, you, you good? You need some help? The same thing's going to happen. Yeah, They're going to run their course. And especially now that the Earth is drastically different from when they were here. They're it's not, not the have, Ice Age anymore. You're gonna, look, you're going to drop them in Siberia. They're not going to know where to go to feed, what to feed on. You know, like, yeah, they're not going to know any of that stuff. So what's going to happen here? You're and- going to provide them with food? It doesn't work like that. You're not domesticating uh, woolly mammoths. How does it work? <laughs> like, I get it when it's like the whole dinosaurs in Jurassic Park because they're in the egg. Mm-hmm. Elephants don't hatch. So what? where's the womb for the first one? How do you incubate can, it? You can create a womb. Is it, can... it going to be birthed by an actual elephant? And it's just going to be a woolly man? No, I think they, no you can genetically you can create genetically one. Create a womb. Yeah. yeah. We have the technology to actually create a creature. Pretty sure cloning is a thing. Like, I don't I think, think that's a conspiracy. Yeah, I'm pretty clone, sure you they, can clone things. They cloned a sheep. Like Dolly, I think. Yeah. Her yeah, nose. but to clone it, it's born. It's not like there's the same sheep right next to it. It starts from 
birth they clone, again they with the literally, same genes. They literally replicate the exact same genes, and then it's born all over again. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure that's what they'll do with this. It's kind just of like an, interesting. It's like in Can't you just ins- where he like has incubation chambers yeah. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you just be able to inseminate an elephant though? That's what I was saying. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. this is a Probably family show. Too. Okay. <laughs> that's why I said inseminate. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> you were agreeing with him, Joey. We're moving you on, do you that, freaks. Though. I was talking about you. <laughs> what are you talking about? With, with, <laughs> you're going to create some kind of like chimera hybrid if you do something like that. No, you just have the oh. gene sequence already in the yeah, there's no like, genetic egg or something like that. Elephant. It's no, no, no. It's just the carrier. Yeah, yeah. It's just the carrier. I get what They're just mean. carrying it to term. It's like a surrogate. That's all a I'm surrogate. Saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Huh. I feel like that's crazy. It's code. possible. I mean, I don't think I cracked the code. I think they did that I like eight years ago. Hire Kyler yeah. tomorrow. They Kyler. contact us. <laughs> Helicopter. The FBI All of a texted me. <laughs> don't go anywhere. You. We need yeah. you. So on the same line of thinking, um, it's, it's been reported that Christopher honest. Nolan we go. Yeah. has asked for total creative control. <laughs> Probably mm. not on the same line. <laughs> he always does this. Is that even- 20% <laughs> of first dollar gross. <laughs> And a blackout period from the studio wherein the company would not release another movie three weeks before or, or three, three weeks, weeks after. after his release. What other director can make these demands and get a blockbuster who, signed? Who, like, has um, that, who has bought that ever it? happened? Who bought it? Or who agreed? Isn't it Universal? Universal. 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 Yeah. Oh, Universal. no. Dude. I mean, it's not like Universal. Warner Bros. was. Yeah, I know. They're just providing him with what he asked for. I they're mean, just the giving him. Company, they're just giving him money, and they have the rights to it. But he, they don't yeah. have. They don't have any creative. No, like, he he no, asked for nope. total. Control. He has all of it. Total creative control. That's one of his requests. And a two hundred million dollar budget, okay. which a hundred million just is going to go to the nuke that he's going to blow up, and then. <laughs> <laughs> we all look outside. We're like, what's that? He's <laughs> actually going to make Godzilla. He's like, that's Chris Nolan blowing up Venezuela for his new movie. <laughs> We're going to see the bomb dropping and an alarm <laughs> saying, congratulations, you're part of the new yeah, Nolan see, film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We see a so real life Willie Mammoth. Yeah. That's worth it. We're going to see that. the Willie Mammoth in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's his thing. Yeah, it's not, yeah he, I know. He's, it's not that's science. where the money's it's, going. It's, it's Nolan. <laughs> Dude. He said, I want a Willie Mammoth. It's like, okay, we can see Janet. No, no, no. no, no I want a real. I want <laughs> a Willie Mammoth. <laughs> Practical effects, people. <laughs> so... It's crazy because you <laughs> for a all... time piece on the Manhattan Project. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's where the time travel kicks in. Oh, yeah. the for those who may be confused, I totally forgot. for those who may be confused, why we... <laughs> why we mentioned a nuke? It's because the movie Nolan is doing is about the Manhattan, Manhattan Project, the creation of the atomic bomb. <laughs> Just mad. My goodness, these people. <laughs> Just creating the bomb and a William Mammoth in the background. Just, like, just, 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 just crawling by while Oppenheimer's like crying at this creation that he murdered millions no, it's, with. It's, it's just, gonna be it's gonna be 2001: A Space Odyssey Part Two. Oh my with god! The, the obelisk. It's gonna see the obelisk next to the Wooly Mammoth in the beginning, and then oh. it's gonna the, the nuclear bomb. Oh man! So. Bad. so that was what's good. crazy to me is that Universal, <laughs> even with all those demands. Paramount Pictures was still uh, putting in um, bids for it. Apple was putting in bids for it. Netflix was putting in bids for it. And Warner Brothers was still fighting for it. Universal just ended up winning with all that. (laughs) (laughs) What's in your cup, Kyler? This guy. He's drinking COVID water. (laughs) Honestly. (laughs) No, he's just so laughing. It was so dumb. He's still laughing at the Willie Mammoth. Yeah, that was, was pretty funny. That, that hit me. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, when when is this movie supposed to come out? Has there is, is there any release? Like two years? Like year at least. I believe, I believe production will start next year. So yeah. uh, probably like two or three. 23, years. 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Sucks, um, but you know how it is. Yeah. So thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, we're on to the next sequence uh, segment, and <laughs> we're going sequence, <laughs> sequence, sequence. <laughs> sequence. <laughs> This episode is gone, bro. <laughs> what is going on right now? We got controversy. <laughs> Every time I host, dude. Mammoths. Hey, mom. So, a couple minutes here. What were your guys' um, – yeah, we're going to stop that. We got, listeners here. we got listeners in the car. 
Just unmute Real. yourself when you're all set to speak to the class, Kyler. <laughs> um, what I'm are your guys take you from the meeting again? Don't be coughing in the mic. What are your guys' thoughts on the Hawkeye trailer? Uh, I'll let yeah. you guys go first. Yeah. Go ahead, Kyler. Um, I think we've kind of come to a unanimous agreement that this isn't going to be Endgame Part 2. <laughs> it's not going to be like Marvel's huge next hit or anything like that. But I am still pretty excited for it. We, we've spoken about it a few times. I'm, I, I've read the comic books. I love them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and I think they're kind of obviously toning it back a little bit. He's not going up against Kang, the Conqueror himself. It's it's a much more scaled down villain. And I think they're just kind of having fun with it. And I'm I'm actually really excited. It looks like it's, nice. it's Is it the Yakuza? Oh. Mm, so basically, from what I gathered from the trailer, it's a lot more grounded. It's literally mm. Kate Bishop obviously admires hawkeye um clint clint barton so she basically like pretends to be him and she she finds her she makes her own ronin outfit and basically what's happening is like his time as ronin now she they're coming after her and so he gets involved like who's pretending to be me finds finds out it's her and has to help her so then he has to fight all these people again pretty much it's kind of like i don't know just, just catch it. I remember him. that time Wiley gave the entire yeah. synopsis yeah. of that "What If" episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got cut they got really cut. conveniently. <laughs> you told me to. What you mean? <laughs> I, I cut. Let Danny, I cut stop yours out. Joey's laugh right there, please. I, was, uh, I cut yours I was, out, Kylie. I cut out. I, I, said, I know. Fair enough. I was hoping, low key, because I recently caught up with all the episodes. <laughs> you want? I was hoping that it was going to be in there, and then it just like. Very like naturally moved on to the next. I was like, crap. Yeah, yeah I have the whole funny. script on deck. It yeah. was great. I pretty I just much just that. like word line for line reenacted the whole what if episode to and these then, guys. No. I watched it and I was like, wow, Wadi did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> Man just read the script. He's like, and curtains open. Hawkeye walks out on screen the left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Joey, what'd you think? I don't know. I'm really not excited for it, to be honest. Nothing about that really got me going. But I'm just going to wait and see, watch it, and then maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I won't. I, I personally am excited. I literally have no thoughts for it. I have no excitement, no thoughts. I'm just going to go in and just watch it. So I was the least excited <clears throat> before this trailer out of all you guys, and it wasn't even close. This trailer bumped up my excitement, and now it looks mm-hmm. like Joe is the least excited, and then me, and then mm-hmm. you guys. Mm-hmm. I think... When I saw the trailer and was like, oh, this is what they're going for. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm cool with a fun get home to my family before Christmas holiday show. That kind of style. It's not like a Christmas show, but it's like, you know, the the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the way Home Alone feels like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm all for that. I think I s- explained that to you when they first announced the Hawkeye show. So like the comics don't have him going up against anyone crazy. He goes up against like thugs. Yeah, it's I know. Just, like, it's common. just even still yeah. seeing Hawkeye go against thugs. It's just there's nothing interesting about it to me. I don't know what it, it's just. Okay, I don't know. I'll pique your yeah. interest. This is where uh, Kingpin is coming back. Oh, yes, true. I forgot about that. We talked oh my about that. God. I th- yeah, we talked about that yeah, on the podcast, that right? Just read that. That peaked my yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So hopefully, <clears throat> that means Charlie Cox will actually show up in. I uh, oh, don't, don't, no, don't, don't, please, no, no. I'm tired. Don't Spider Man, okay? Tired. Don't of Spider-Man. Honestly, I just got. I'm sick and tired. Go cough it. in a corner. That's enough. Go cough in a corner. This guy, Disgusting. the audacity to even say it, and we will continue. <clears throat> Star Spider-Man. Wars, visions. Ooh. Have you guys seen all the episodes? I Not all of them. I have watched four all the way through. I'm on episode Same. right before right we came on and started this podcast. <clears throat> I finished the last episode. The oh, last you, one. You finished oh, all okay. of them. Right I now, I'm on. Uh, was it five? Is what the ninth Jedi or something like that? Or something. Or something I like think that. so. Yeah. yeah. I've I bounced like around. I've watched four, but I've bounced around. Okay, what are you guys, what is order? wrong with the you so It's an anthology. It doesn't even matter. None, None of them are why? Does, well, 
Why would you do that? That's I read so the weird. synopsis of each and was like, which one interests me most? I'm going to go with these first. I mean, they don't. None of them sure. coincide. So I guess that's fine. I know. It's just weird. It is weird. <laughs> so what are, Wiley, we'll start with you. What are your thoughts on the episodes? Okay, that you've which, seen so which episodes did you see and how many? Exactly. Well, I tell you, that's, I don't know yeah, how we'll to just go this. We'll just go into the overall thoughts. And I mean, the episodes you can't even are like, say, oh, I watched the first four. No, I just, I've watched five. They're just all over. They're just yeah, all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I may or may matter. not have watched the same ones you guys have. Who knows? We'll know, see. That's so <laughs> weird. There's not really any spoilers from this show. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> uh, To me, I don't care. So you guys, yeah. I, I, I like them. Um, I like the whole like one-off, no big story. Um, Each episode is his own thing showcasing obviously different animation styles because they were worked on by different studios different teams different writers i think different... that's the main thing mm-hmm. the, the very drastic change in animation styles between yeah because each because between one and two like that was very, drastic i was like what Drast- the, yeah you know? especially just <laughs> not even the animation but the whole like feel and story the, was, yeah like, the tempo know? is mm-hmm. very different episode um, one was that was my favorite. I thought it was so far. Really my favorite. cool. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. The story, I mean, there really was no story, but the episode was it was just villain comes to town and random like straight same style. Old school no. like western no country or uh, yeah, what's it like, called? Oh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. Kind yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I awesome. enjoyed it a lot. Um I I mean, I do like it. The episode uh was it three with the twins mm-hmm. that one yeah that, that was alice and brian neil, that patrick was alice and Bri and neil patrick harris yeah um that one was pretty good too little weird animation at this but i don't know it's pretty cool i like like the force abilities and all that stuff that they use mm-hmm. in there so from the episodes i've seen so far i think <laughs> which we still which don't episodes know. Have you seen? <laughs> still don't know which ones you've seen. pull out your phone real quick and just go through which ones you've watched it doesn't matter we're not it, like what does it matter i'm just saying from so the episodes talk about them seen, i know yeah we're well, you guys can talk it. about it i don't like <laughs> are you gonna spoil it for me <laughs> i don't understand just let it you. Just no let we're, it we're trying to we're trying to talk about the episodes you watched oh well you no nah, you guys talk about the episodes you watched now work around you that's <laughs> easier you have you have 75 percent to one or to 25 okay. percent. you know Screenshot it, it's, that. it'd be better if you guys talk about it but yeah from the episodes i've seen which are one and three so far we haven't had a problem there um <laughs> it's eh it's okay i don't know i i had higher Kyler. Hopes, to be honest <laughs> i feel like they're very much not necessarily a show about star wars it's star wars inspired yeah because even like the one like the twins which was i think was episode three that's one where it was mm-hmm. discussing mm-hmm. nothing about that the only similarity was the fact that it was the force and lightsabers everything else about that like i know i get that it's not canon but it's so far to the opposite end of not canon yeah that, that it's was like, like it's not the same lightsaber thing star wars. expanded like 300 he cut, he cut a star destroyer in half. In half. They were that was dope though. When he went to light space. speed with the. It was that pretty was, cool. Okay, yeah. That was that scene was pretty epic. But they fought the entire time. <laughs> Darren, in space. I did watch the episode with okay. no helmet. <laughs> with no like helmet. I'm just waiting to say something. It was just weird. I love the first episode. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not discussing that anymore. That got enough time uh, speaking <laughs> time at the beginning of the episode. The first episode by far was my favorite. The second one with like the whole boy band thing, real weird. Uh, Wasn't really for it. Um, the, that was Joseph Gordon Lovett. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Bobby Moynihan still, was the, was the hut. Still what? weird. Still weird. I did like. Okay. T- t- so I saw one, Boba. two, three, and then the ninth. Jedi did all of you watch was... in English? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I watched so. in English. Okay. I'm, I want to watch in English, and then I'll go back and watch it in Japanese. I'm not watching it in Japanese. I'm just watching I w- it. In I watch it in Japanese. Like, is it sound? It sound dope. Nah. It sounds dope. I'm a filthy. It's casual. A lot more dramatic. Yeah, a lot really dramatic, of course. Yeah. I watched them in Japanese, but the third episode I watched in English. Randomly chose to watch it in English, and then that what? was the one with Alice and Brian. <laughs> yeah, Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I watched the first two in in Japanese, and I was like, the first one. The, Let me the, try English. The first one, the English is um the guy who <clears throat> plays in Tokyo Drift, the DK. Oh no, kidding. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the the third episode, there was a few things that killed me. 
one I, I feel like we just have to remember this is anime this isn't you know what i mean like, <laughs> I, you I, know. I have nothing going to go the mindset yet. that it's anime i think based I was... on star wars and then you have to remind yourself it's star wars yeah but I, I was just, so seriously. I was very much hoping, like, I know it wasn't going to be that because obviously yeah. when you yeah. saw the trailers for the first episode, you could tell right away, this isn't Star Wars, Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. But I was hoping, was I was hoping it'd be a little more like the first episode where it's, you can very obviously see, okay, this, this is Star Wars. It's just art styles are different. Storylines are different, but it's still got the very much Star Wars feel. It, it just feels like weird sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like general Star Wars vibes kind of in the background. But you're constantly having to remind yourself, I'm watching Star Wars content. And I don't yeah, yeah. It's it I, feels a little weird. What, yeah, I guess my what was critique your comes three. Yeah, what, what happened there for you? My critique comes from two places. One, I kind of came in with the same mindset, but I was more <coughs> I didn't care if it wasn't Star Wars. I wasn't I don't mind that. I just wanted something good. And <laughs> That episode three, dude, 94% of the episode was just fighting. I get that. And then on top of that, they were basically fighting over another Death Star. That's yeah. It was just another form of another Death yeah, Star. I can agree with that. It's kind of so stupid. it's like <laughs> yeah, two uh, ships that are just Death Star. Yeah, that's that's why I don't watch yeah. anime as it is, because it's all it's just a lot of it is just fighting. And I, I'm gonna I know I haven't seen many anime, so I'm I'm probably wrong on that. From what I've seen, I've tried many animes and a lot of them are just fighting. And I'm like, okay, I don't know. That's not for me. I was just looking for good storylines. And the ones I saw, none of them had good storylines, to be honest with you. I think what's... So what's cool about it is that they're one-offs. But what's also, Mm -hmm. like, messing me up is that they're one-offs. Because you have to fit in this longer backstory within like the first yeah. like minute or two because they're only like 15 minutes long. So like the twins one, she literally laid out their entire yes. life and their whole plan within the first like two, three minutes of her. So just cheesy. Uh-huh. It was Exposition very dump. I was like, Holy yeah, crap. I, was like, <laughs> I know everything about. Yeah. Me. <laughs> At the same time. Okay. That's cool. Because like the one, the first one, it was like, okay, he's supposed to be a mysterious character. Let's leave it at that. You don't even know, you know, you don't know anything about him. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. But I then really the other the one, ones, it was like the, the bride in the woods. I yeah. Think it was called the, the, the forest bride. The, bride, the, village the, bride. the village That one was cool because there were a lot of questions. Yeah. There's a lot of things you didn't Who know, but this? I feel like they what handled that tribe? one really yeah. well because they didn't leave you like, oh my God, that sucked. I don't know. You, it ends the episode and you still don't know most of what's going on, but Her they did it cool. in, a, in a very good way. Yeah. I liked it. My other thing was I've seen a lot of uh, articles of people who've like watched it and stuff, stuff on Instagram. And some of the people go to the other extreme and they're like, it's amazing. This is the greatest Star Wars content I've ever seen. Yeah. Someone I'm like, who said no, that? Those I saw. Weeds. I've seen those are anime. I've seen like four fans. or five things. Yeah. They're like the the one, the bride in the forest. I think is the name of the episode. The village episode bride. four. Oh, the village, or village bride. Yeah. It was like um one of the so, the the, the scores. Sorry. <laughs> in the <laughs> one of the the music numbers in that episode brought me to tears because it was so beautiful. I'm like, calm the hell down. Yeah, wasn't no, that great no. it was good yeah, but it yeah. wasn't that great so don't don't go to the other extreme and be like do i hate you if you don't like this because this is the yeah. greatest thing ever it's not but we we it's ignore just, those okay. two extremes where it's the worst thing i've ever seen it's the best thing i've ever seen and then yeah. there's the happy medium where this is really good or this is not good where you can you be know, fair and, and you can critique it with yeah. a clear mindset with no bias mm. it's like you know i can see where people would like it. like certain things about it and not like other things yeah. about it that's fine i personally not an anime fan i still enjoy some of these episodes mm. and scenes and obviously i said what i liked i said what i didn't like i'm not going to criticize it just because yeah. i don't like anime you know what i mean so i've seen so now that you guys mentioned it, i've seen the first three episodes we've talked about them i haven't seen the fourth but i saw the ninth jedi i think that's what it's that's called. what i'm on right now that's the i like that episode, episode. Yeah. probably like my favorite episode. one Yes. It, yeah. It has the story. The story is setting up is dope. So that's why I'm excited yeah. to finish it. Had a good story. It had a good the twist. Sabers? It had good action and not too much of any. It was, that's, like, the, it was anyway. that's the longest one, I think, right? It's like 26 yeah. minutes or something like that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's another thing that's a pro for this thing is just 
the sick lightsaber designs. Mm. I I'm oh, yeah, all awesome. for seeing that first episode. Where umbrella she has, like, saber. The, umbrella the first saber? episode was. Dude, I was like, what? and then she just unsheathed it, and then it yeah. went. And he when has, he like, pulled out his blade. katana, yeah. it was it, at the end. Okay, there were certain all the- things about that episode that I love. Mm-hmm. The different colors. Mm-hmm. Because it's mostly black and white, but obviously, like the blaster bolts were green and blue, which any lights, lights on and, ships, and and the lights on the ships, and the lightsabers. Yeah. The it, the very dramatic contrast of the colors against the just black and white background yeah. and everything looked and it wasn't phenomenal. even like it wasn't even like overly saturated color no. to make it. All you needed was just a little hint with like Look, a little bit of contrast, and it, and it was dope. Yeah, so good. And then the end when he. Open up his jacket and you see like the line of kyber crystals. Kyber, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, that is so red. cool. That was yeah. dope. Oh, man. It's like, when who she's is like, this guy? Like, <laughs> yeah. When she's like, oh, a Jedi. I haven't killed one of you in forever. And then he whips out his red saber. Yeah. And she's like, what? I was like, oh, yeah. I'm so excited. It was so cool. And the droid was so OP. Facts. When he just like blew up everyone with mm-hmm. his like missiles. <laughs> Just targeted so cool, missiles. Though. It even comes over yeah. the hill and goes into the river. Yeah. That was like, sick. That was uh, so cool. I like the Saber and Village Bride. When she pulled out uh, hers, it was yellow. It was yeah. legit, like a legit katana, yeah. like blue. Just went, yeah, it was yeah. super thin, too. That was really, really cool. I like that one. Yeah, I think I need to finish the season to give a full judgment on it, yeah. on, on Visions itself. But from what I've seen so far, eh. um, it's very middle of the road. I'd say me. it's fun. I'm yeah, fine. Just think I'm of fine it as with just watching fun. it, enjoying the episodes as is. I mean, will I be like, you need to watch this? No, I'm not gonna say that. But that's what I'm saying. Is it that's... okay to watch? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's fine. If you got nothing else to do, yeah. <laughs> if if we if keep like going anime, to the sure. point where it's just fun, I feel like that's when you start doing quantity over quality, and that's a problem mm-hmm. because that's like you look at Disney shows from back in the day. So many of the Disney and Nick shows were great shows. And then they just started pumping out more and more and more. Probably saying, you know, it's just fun. These are just kids shows. Don't look too deep into it. And then you get garbage shows like Fanboy and Chum Chum. Like, that's the result of it. <laughs> Forgot about that show. Oh, my God. He just Forgot pulled it out that, of nowhere. The worst lot. rated Nick show of all time. Was I think it, really? it has a 2.0 out of 10. It is the worst rated <laughs> Nick show. So I think, I, even oh, if it's yeah. a kid's show, even if it's anime, even if it's anime Star it's Wars, I just it. want to, yeah, I just want something good. I feel like if this was legitimately canon, if it was like, I don't know if you guys seen the, the fan made, I'm sure you seen the fan made uh, Luke versus Darth Vader anime style. No? Yeah. Nope. Send it to me. Send it to me now. Please. It, looks, it, to me. it literally fan made. looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. If that was what was put into this, 100% probably gra- like grab our attention more. I think what's also happening too is that because we aren't huge anime, anime fans, fans yeah. huge like um, I am, but you're not there's a, a target though. audience here. You're not a weeb. <laughs> you're not like some people. Are you allowed are... to say that anymore? A weeb? That's are you a, they isn't call, that like they a call themselves weebs? I mean, yeah, you could say it. Can we get a list I thought of that was like a allowed, thing. Not allowed to call people. <laughs> is it yeah. like on Twitch That's or something case. like that? You can't say that anymore on Twitter uh, or Twitch. Twitch is Twitch, nah, Twitch, Twitch is, is next it. level though. You, I can't oh, even, okay. I can't even call I heard you by your someone name. Someone will inform like, us and we'll learn. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that maybe that's also like, maybe if you're very well versed in anime, you can see your favorite creators' art styles in here, and you can see like things where like they call back or like little like yeah, Easter eggs or like you know stuff like that where you can be like, oh wow, they inspired. That's inspired from here. Mm-hmm. So maybe we don't get that feeling because it's all kind of new to us. You know what I mean? Maybe Joey. Which is why we're not going to trash but, it, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at the art style. Like, I'm like, oh, episode one was a cool art style. Oh, I didn't like the art style in episode three. And that's mm-hmm. the extent of my critique on the yeah, art styles. Exactly. Whereas <laughs> those people are probably like going deeper into it, you know? <laughs> maybe art I could be a me. food critic. This muffin <laughs> tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes bad. That's it. <laughs> my thing was more like the storylines for some of them were weird like the whole episode two thing about the boy bands it really didn't have anything yeah, to was... do with star wars no it was just really funky yeah. it was just, was, just re- really it was good it, it was, was a, it was something it. that happened in the star wars universe on like tatooine but other than that it had nothing to do with star wars and that's yeah. the one with boba fett so i was a little disappointed and i know that it was cool hearing him though yeah <laughs> bobblehead yeah, yeah. i wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be like Star Wars anime artwork, but 
I do want something like, I hope this gives them the opportunity. Hopefully it gets more um, hype and, and uh, what's, what's the word I'm thinking of hype, uh, not hype, but like um, hype, it does well, it does well <laughs> enough. Shut up. It does well enough that it, more they, they green light more, pro- more. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that they, they actually green light canon works with this yeah. kind of art style. I mean, the closest like that'd canon be cool. style one we got was like that original Clone, War- Clone Wars that was like in 2002. Mm. Remember that? Was that? Is, that's not anime though. It, it's just no, animated. it was just not, a weird animated style. It's animated. Yeah. It was more like a uh, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack type animation. Yeah. That was like yeah. the closest we got to an anime style. Yeah, I think. Fair enough. I think once I'd, you guys like see the like ninth, that. once you guys see the Ninth Jedi that episode the what i would want to see more of is somewhere in between that and the first episode of the series both were really good well both were good um uh, the ninth jedi was more star warsy whereas the first episode of the series was just something totally Samurai. different in a star wars universe which is what mm-hmm. i expected that's what i was hoping for mm-hmm. so that was cool wish they would have been a little bit longer maybe introduce us to a character it was just kind of like we're going to drop you in and just your basic plot, bad person comes to town, good person saves town yeah. people. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, anything else? I don't know. Joe, you have anything else you want to say from an anime perspective? Nope. Just no. go in there, have fun. Yeah. Yeah, have a good time. No. Um, nice. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. I think that leads us into... 2000s movies or do we have anything else do we want to talk what if did have you guys kept up with it i mean i have uh, oh I yeah a few I, haven't minutes on what if. One. I haven't watched a new one yet you haven't watched a new one anybody's watched a new one my summary is i, I gave up on what if okay so <laughs> <laughs> how far did you get <laughs> oh i saw the it was so the, out of pocket <laughs> the thor party oh you saw it yeah okay did you get That's to the, the, latest the latest episode did you get to yeah. the end do you fin- like complete yeah yeah yeah, it was, it uh, was it's a gonna, cool... It's going to tie everything in together. So... If the next episode continues with that, then I think it will. Yeah. Which was cool. I don't want to ruin because it for these guys. But... what they showed... Okay, so what they showed at the it's end what of if, the I episode... Don't care. They show more scenes of that person later on. So it's clearly going to tie in all together. That's What's the point. guy's name in the sky that's the always... The Watcher. The Watcher. So at the end of this episode... Even the watcher was surprised by what happened, which yeah. is why I think, oh, okay, this. I is think he's going to intervene different. at some point, but yeah, the watcher. I think he will. The watcher doesn't do that. I think he will. He almost intervened with the Doctor Strange one. What? The whole point is that he just watches. That's, that's why his I'm name saying. is the Watcher. But if you <laughs> if you continue these episodes, so you haven't. The last one you watched was when they all the Avengers died. The one that you gave me the yeah, entire gave, synopsis yeah. of. <laughs> oh, yeah. After but that, he didn't Kyler... in Doctor Strange, though. Then almost. <laughs> he did. Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange Dr. Uh, felt Sh- him. Felt him, saw felt him, him watching him, and he said, help me. And he was like, no matter how bad I want to, I can't. Yeah. And he, mm-hmm. and even in the episode, he kept saying, I really want to tell him something. So. Question. Yep. Answer. What are the Watcher's capabilities when it comes to that what what can he do other than watch does he have the power to intervene with anything can he interact with people can he it's a good question that's a good question because i i know that that's a thing that they they just sit there and they watch and stuff like that but i don't know beyond that if there's been anything where they actually do go in and speak to anyone or, or affect make a change that is a very good question that they can one name Watu was later banished by his race of the watchers type. for aiding the <laughs> Fantastic Four against the threat of his rogue nephew Aaron, the renegade watcher who tried to destroy the universe. So clearly they got some powers. Yeah. Tried to destroy the universe. Listen, if everyone has the power to destroy the universe in Marvel, <laughs> no one has the power to destroy the universe. It's just getting annoying. Dude. Wait, I don't understand. If you destroy the universe. What's left? Why would you do that? It's the most ridiculous thing I've That's ever heard. Everyone wants to do it. Everyone wants to destroy the universe for why? Goodness, what at least you... Loki is like, I want to control the multiverse. I want That's to be in fine. charge. Cool, That's... man. That's a good plan. Thanos just wanted to destroy half 
of the universe and, and made a good argument for flourish. it. Yeah, it's not genocide. It's not. It's efficiency. Hey, it's, you, not. Um, it's efficiency. <laughs> you mentioned Fantastic Four. Um, there's like a theory floating around, which I don't think they'll go this route at all. But it would be pretty cool if they did. You know how in Endgame Thanos destroyed the stones. Well, he reduced them to atoms. He didn't actually destroy them because they can't be destroyed. But they're, like, so microscopic, you can't use them. Um, they're saying, like, what if the particles from the stones somehow are ended the up being storm? the cosmic radiation that created ah. the Fantastic Four? That's... What are the odds? I don't know if that how plausible I mean, just that so is minuscule. or how they would do that. <sighs> okay. Guys. Something we haven't spoken about, but... Now that the multiverse is a thing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay. Yep, lay it on me. Go ahead. The TVA mm-hmm, is mm-hmm, now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the time stream, and they're they're with all these different multiverses. Mm. There are like forty Infinity Stones inside of the TVA. Yeah. But they, but I like we're done with Infinity Stones. I don't think Infinity Stones I know, come back to play. But that's. That's dangerous. Like anyone yeah, but, could really. But in the TVA, they they have no power. I know. Sure. I feel like that's paperwork. very. They and no one in the like, TVA is going to use it, though. They use it as paper. We know one's going to use it. But TVA. now that Loki understands their power and stuff like that, that could get out of control real fast. He's not looking for that type of power anymore, though. He just wants to be head on. Yeah. Who's guy. to say? Who's to say he can't though? All he has to do is say just. Open this drawer real quick. I'll be right back. And then... Bye-bye. I mean, yeah, but he saw how powerful he could be. Can you change the multiverse back into, like, one universe with the Infinity Stones? I assume you can, right? You could fix it. Mm, I don't think with the stones. Back to what if. (laughs) What if... Kyle, you haven't seen anything past those first two episodes? No, I've seen... He's... He saw uh, up to episode three. like four or three. What okay. were you gonna say, D? <laughs> he saw the one where the Avengers. You could talk about it. I don't. Yeah. I, don't care. I know. I'm just wondering what you guys think about it. I gave up on it. I think. I think largely it's uninteresting, and I just have no even like, the uh, the zombie episode. I, I I don't even. I didn't see that episode. No, I skipped it. I heard it was good. I heard it was good, but I skipped it. <laughs> I didn't watch. it. Any I just I, not you yeah. could say it was earth shatteringly amazing. I just have no like. I think from the, what I've seen of it, it's it's okay. Like the show is just it's nothing I makes me want to watch it. I think the fact that it's so far, same thing with we were talking about with um, visions that it's so far out of canon, it takes away from like you need There's to not really watch any this. importance. Yeah, you could skip it, it and like. nothing happens. I guess even if it was canon, though, even if you told me every one of these episodes was canon, I still wouldn't be itching to watch the episode next Wednesday. Like, I don't know. I might not be itching to watch it, but I'd get around. I'd make sure that I got around to it because I'm more sure responsibility. Though. Yeah, I'm with you. The fact I'm that it's you. so I'll, far out I'll there and nothing is ever going to go back to it. You're like, OK, yeah. I don't need that. To watch we it. know of it could very well go back to this. We have no idea. It's not canon. The whole thing. Who, not said, canon? It? Who said that? It, didn't they say that? They just said what didn't if, Marvel say that? All they said was ponder these universes and what could happen. They never said it's not canon. It is oh, okay, more. fair enough. That's we fine. have the multiverse. Now. It's Everything multiverse. Canon. Everything's canon. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. I oh, still okay. Don't so, care. so it's officially made up of canon MCU stories, thanks okay. to the newly yeah. minted yeah. multiverse. So that's how they're. So it is canon, but since it's multiverse and there's infinite Earths, they're still probably not going to talk about it. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll never you, the last, yeah. the ending of the last episode, I could see where it would tie stuff together from the multiverses. We'll see. Tell me which mm. episodes I have to watch. I'll watch those. Ones. Okay, so Party Thor, you don't really need to watch until the end. Literally, I'll um, watch it. let's see. The zombie one. It, it's mostly just the endings of each episode is where you're like, oh. That was wild because they're ending very abruptly, but like with something mm-hmm. huge. But like then, the Doctor like, Strange one, the Doctor Strange one, and then you get to like the ending of the next one. You're like, oh, and then you're like, how is this? They can't just leave this open ended. But then when you see like, there's like photos and trailers for the the rest of the season, and you can see some scenes where they're tying in together. So there is an overarching story that's gonna happen. 
yeah, it's See, for me, I got an operation like two weeks ago and I, I was in bed for a few days and I couldn't get out for like a weekend. So while I was there, I just took the time to finish Rebels and watch a few of the What If episodes. And then I got bored with What If. So then I just started watching other stuff and yes, writing. Yeah. But that that's like one of those shows that's like, okay, I don't really have anything to do. So I'll watch it. And then I got bored with nothing that's, to do. Yeah, that summarizes so like, my oh. view. Yeah. <laughs> That's Personally. how it was with the with the yeah. visions, though. I couldn't watch them all in a row. Yeah, I, I I watched the first two in a row, and then I was like, okay. I started watching it last night, and Crystal was like, "I was like, you probably aren't gonna like this." And she was like, "That's fine. I'll watch something on my computer next to you." And I was like, super excited the first time, the first episode. <laughs> and off it, to the computer <laughs> as it as it kept going. She like looked at me, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. okay, uh huh, all right, next episode. Pretty yeah, average, okay. average content coming <laughs> yeah. from them. That's what I, that's what my thing is. And they're all but, animated. I wonder if there's a common denominator there. Anyway, maybe uh, they probably just got to get their animated stuff better. Yeah, it's not an excuse. That's I do think that is the common denominator there. DC, though. DC has their animated stuff on point. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. The they drop the ball with a lot of stuff, but they their animated stuff I is can't on wait for point. Can't do wait. it in justice. Yes, so yes. Good. Thank you, thank you. So I think it's about time we get into the '90s movies. After an hour, two thousands, two thousands. You didn't even say it. Right. For the two thousands <laughs> movies, <laughs> let's let's just start right oh, off. Goodness, Joey, give us your first one, bro. Uh, oh, this is how we're doing this. Transformers. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay, so essentially, we I forgot to explain kind of what it is. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't want to pick our favorite movies from the 2000s because we've discussed these movies in like our favorite lists all time, that kind of stuff. So it's more like some great movies from the 2000s that we just want to talk about. <gasps> okay, get me last. Remember okay. the Titans. Phenomenal. I just it's just like a day. 20s anniversary, 20 something year. You guys, today. you guys are gonna bully me for this. I've never seen Remember the Titans. Hey, hey, hey. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I hate okay. you. That's not fine. <laughs> this is that is one of the best feel good movies ever. It you finish that movie and it is just heartwarming. You have a tear coming out. You have a tear coming out. It's beautiful from beginning to end. Denzel I Washington, right? Denzel, Denzel yeah. Washington, Ed Harris, um, Ed Harris is Junior. It? I'm no Hayden Panettiere. Panettiere. <laughs> yep. Hayden well, Panettiere is the little girl. Little girl. Yep. Oh wow! I forgot. Wow. I know. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Nah. What are you doing here, Ren? Um, hey, okay, so can I can I stay on the whole feel good movie flow? Please, yeah. Pursuit of Happiness. <gasps> that was out I there. forget about that. Okay, wow. So I, I went that. to see Pursuit of oh, Happiness Benjamin. What's in up, the Ryan? theater with my dad. Oh, yeah, so, bro, <laughs> he did. Looks <laughs> that cute. I went to see Pursuit of Happiness in the theater with my dad. Mm. Afterward, we went to a restaurant to go eat. And it was one of those where you have like a booth on either side of the table. And I sat next to my dad, not across from him, because yep. it was one of those movies. Crying is I love you, daddy. Probably my a little dad, higher than that. <laughs> my dad was one of those where he's like, you go to the movies, you sit one seat apart. That's just how guys yeah. do it at the movies. Oh, yeah, he's halfway, a man. halfway through the movie, I took that seat and I was right next to him. I'm like, nope, when, when, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, what's what's Will Smith's son's name? Jaden. 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 When he drops his Captain America toy, that's it. Oh that's it yeah. Oh my goodness. And he's like Man. trying to go back for it, and he's like, "I gotta go to this job interview." And then when he's in the subway in the bathroom, he's, and then he's holding and he's it with holding his leg. Woo! Woo! That <laughs> scene gets me because that movie yeah. is just so powerful, dude. That's just it's like, did he just breathe in the mic? Yes, I did. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> It's like it's the story of a father doing all he can for his son and seeing that and him like failing over and the over struggle. and over him. Man, it makes you it, mm. you come out of that movie really appreciating every last thing that you have. Just the yeah. fact that you have a, a bed to sleep in at night, mm -hmm. family and friends that you can lean on, a community that's good. That that is that is a great feel good movie. Nice pick, Wiley. Thank you. Very appreciate good. it. I went with um, Twilight. No, wait, wrong movie. I went with um. You're such an idiot. 
Um, I went with Avatar in preparation for the upcoming. Yes, I had that one down. I saw Next that one, yeah, three I movies. Saying. This, just so you know, because I wasn't sure how to narrow this down. This is my list. Okay, that's fine. Nobody on the podcast can actually see this if you're watching on YouTube. I, uh, I, have, I have like thirty movies I have a on few there. There, I was gonna put more, but I was like, we're not gonna get to all of them, so I just, you know. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, see yeah. which which direction you guys were going before I said anything. Avatar. Like. Avatar was groundbreaking when that movie came out. Yeah, I didn't put it because I figured one of you were gonna mention it, so I was like, yeah. Yeah. you saying I'm basic? Yeah, you predicted my choice. Basic, basic, <laughs> fair enough. Basic frat boy. I mean, that then. I still don't get the frat boy. <laughs> anyway. I've um, never shotgunned anything in my life. I, you don't need to shotgun anything. It's just Okay, continue. Yeah, Kyler. <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ooh. Still never I, seen it. You've never, never seen it? I thought nah. you talked about it. Read, this, we did. I never we talked it. about it. I've read the books. I've never seen the movie. When did we talk about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Low-key movies? We did maybe? talk about it. I remember oh, okay. talking about it. it. Might have been low key movies. Yeah. If I've if I've mentioned it in low key movies, I'll change it then. Um. Wait. Okay. Uh. Come back to me. <laughs> oh no! Wait. Have a whole I got. List. I got. What you mean? Come back. Because I'm looking through. This um, man's just showing us like one off the top of your dome. Because <laughs> I'm looking through them. Uh, Treasure Planet. Wow. Oh, one of those Planet. low key Disney movies. Definitely a low that key nobody movie. ever talked about. It was never at the top of anyone's list. Wow. Treasure Planet, and I'm gonna throw another one. I'm gonna do my my second one right now. Atlantis, The Lost Atlantis, Empire. Yeah. Those two movies I, them, right? I watched. I think it's because I owned them. I would watch those all the time on my VHS. Yeah, I used to time. watch Atlantis nonstop. And here we go. I, uh, yeah. Experience a world. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Dude, you know uh Treasure Atlantis Planet is dark. Is... Kinda, yeah. yeah. A- Treasure Planet is Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh, that's right. What? That is right. Yeah. Forgot about that. Those two I haven't movies, seen Atlantis in years, man. I love those movies. That you know what? Randomly, but that just made me think um of Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge is a phenomenal the... movie. I love Great Over the Hedge. movie that gets yeah. since I watched that mess. It mm-hmm. always gets the backseat for other animated movies, but Over Bruce the Hedge Willis. is great. I will watch Over the Hedge any day. That was Steve Carell before he was Steve like, Carell he was as huge. Hammy. Yeah. Bruce Willis that, was RJ. And have you guys ever seen Flushed Away? Oh my God, I love Flushed Away. Thank you. The no one ever brings up Flushed Those Away. Rodney, movies. yeah. Dude, there's one scene where where he falls down and he's like, I'm just an innocent bystander. And they're like, <laughs> whatever you say, Millicent bystander. <laughs> they just call him, for the rest of the movie, they call him Millicent, dude. I love that. Yeah. It makes me laugh throughout the movie. No, that's that's another really good one. I didn't have that one on here, but I like that, that one. just made me think of it for some reason. Mm-hmm. Joey, drop us another. Or oh, Kyler. Sh- should I go? Oh, you want to go? No, no, because I, I did my second one. I did the. I was the last one to give the first one, and I was the first one to give the second. So I'll let everyone else give their second one. This one's a little sad. Uh, the boy in the striped pajamas. Ooh, never no. seen it. I don't. No, thank to. you. I saw it. Crystal made me watch it. That's a very sad movie. I don't like Dude, it. I remember when I first watched it. I cried at that ending. Not a fan. Well, that watch hurt like me. movies like that. Why do people uh, yeah. watch movies that make them hate themselves? No, I don't, I don't like that kind of pain. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Crystal watches those type of movies. Yeah, we just talked about watches those type of movies. I don't <laughs> understand it. I don't Why I don't do need you that hate pain. yourself? No, I don't it's like it. we did. Where do we talk about that at your house? Yeah, Kyler's house. We talked about it. It's yeah, it's the same thing as like horror movies. No one comes out of a horror movie being like feeling oh, good, feeling, feeling good. good. You come out empty. Oh. Yes. That's you it. You check your car about 50 it's, times. Di- it's right. the worst. <laughs> I have a I have a reminder. <laughs> <to lock my>. <laughs> 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 For a very specific reason. We're watching, I'm showing them something on YouTube, right? And we're watching it. <laughs> and all of a sudden a reminder comes up at the top of my screen and it says lock. <laughs> it says lock, lock car. Your car. For those who don't know, my car got <laughs> stolen <laughs> right out driveway. of his driveway <laughs> because because he left his key inside of it. inside of the car. So now I have a reminder to never Work. forget to lock my car, and I've never yeah. forgotten to lock my car since then. <laughs> so that was a, that was yeah that was the story behind that one. Mm. Right. Um, Wiley. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna say this one. I don't think we've actually talked about it that much, but it's the one that started it all, ladies and gentlemen. It's Iron Man. 
Mm. Iron Man 1. Damn. Started the MCU. Can't leave it off. I, I have to mention it. It's Iron amazing. Man or Hulk? No, Didn't Iron Man. Hulk technically started because Nick Fury is at the end of Hulk. Oh, well. No, Nick Fury is not at the end of Hulk. Tony Stark is at the end of Hulk. Talking to... Um, Nick Fury. No. No, oh, no. A, he's no, talking, you're right, you're right. He's, no, talking, he's talking to him. To Banner. No, no, he's not talking to Banner. He's talking to Ross. Uh, uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt Ross. Ross? Yeah. Thaddeus Ross? Thaddeus, <laughs> what, what, yeah. Is it? No, yeah, you called Thunderbolt. him Thunderbolt. That was voice. <laughs> <laughs> he said his name was Thunderbolt. <laughs> Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of parent? What kind of parent would be like, yes? Name, name him Thunderbolt. <laughs> Zeus. I think of them being like German. Oh my God. Like, yes, name him Thunderbolt. <laughs> means, it means strength in our language. <laughs> Willkommen. The, oh, it's it's <laughs> Isn't Thunderbolt his okay. nickname? Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, uh-huh. When I said it, I thought it was his real, real first name. name. <laughs> yeah, his name's Thunderbolt Ross. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> like Iron Man, his first name is Iron. His last name is Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Iron. Anyway. Uh, careful, Iron. He got the thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure Iron Man won. Iron, he's got the thing, Iron. Obadiah's got the thing. off guard there. <laughs> he got the sound thing on it. <laughs> Um, uh, National Treasure. I, it's oh, one of, yes. It is genuinely one of my favorite movies from the 2000s. I've seen it a million times. Riley. <laughs> and it never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> we got to steal the Declaration of Independence. Riley. <laughs> oh, my God. Riley. There's a cloud. Riley. And there's an Xbox. They're connected. <laughs> no, don't hate. Don't hate. On uh, National Treasure, that movie oh, is great. Oh, that is a great. It's so great movie. good. Every every piece of that so movie is good. a stretch. It's such a stretch, and I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> I never knew that was a Disney uh, movie, but whoa. I can't wait till they make a third <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. I know. I didn't know it was not until I saw it on Disney Plus. <laughs> Disney Plus. Yeah. Holy moly! Oh shit! I want to watch it. They're making a third. It's in pre-production. You know how that goes. <laughs> Has it been years. in pre-production since the second one came out? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I even enjoyed the second one. Well, not as good. I still love it. I, I still like it. It was the good. Second one was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah was Scene good. where he puts his arm in the rock. And he's like, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he literally kidnapped uh, the president. Like what the? Kylo Stone. Oh yeah. Uh, who was uh, Bruce Greenwood? Was a president yeah, in that Greenwood. one. Mm-hmm. He's awesome. My turn. Yes. Yep. How many do we get? Three. Yeah, sure. we'll do three each. Could we do honorable mentions after? Sure. sure. So I got a fire, few that I want to talk about. Rapid fire okay. ones after. Um, robots. Saw that one. We always forget robots, dude. We've discussed that. I think Loki movies. Robo- I always forget robots. No, we that was on Loki movies? No. Um, we were naming... I think we were just casually mentioning it or something like that. We, we've okay. ta- yeah, we've mentioned it before. You and McGregor. You and McGregor. Robin Williams. Like, it's such a good movie. I love robots. Robots used, is a great movie. I used to watch that movie all the time. Again, on VHS, Same. and I had the game on Game Boy, and I yeah, beat it like three yeah. times. It was a lot. The of fun. favorite one I just used to love playing with you was the one we would pat. We would literally go. Oh, your turn. My turn. Your turn. The one where you're like in the ball. Yeah, the ball. yeah, big wheel. Yeah, big wheel. Uh huh. Yeah. No, yeah. no. 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 Or you're like in a cage. You're him, but you're in the cage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Their their transportation system. Yeah. 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 And you yep. have to like and you had to like collect stuff. all the stuff. Yeah. 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 That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Yeah. Good times. Great um, movie. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Joe. Yeah. School of Rock. Yeah, I saw that one too. Oh, forget School of Rock. I don't remember that is the last Freddy, time I drummer. actually watched that whole movie. The, the nice. first time I've seen it in years is when Wiley started playing it at your house the other day. That was Wendy. Wendy just or put Wendy, it on yeah. for no reason. I was, like, right. I was like, I don't remember any of this. Yeah. You it's know been who... years since I've seen that. The first uh time i ever saw that movie was carlos carlos showed it to me really <laughs> arroyo yep interesting <laughs> okay <laughs> my boy carlos <laughs> yeah that was that's a good movie i'm pretty sure i went to the movie theaters to watch that movie if i were to watch it right now it'd really? be like watching it for the first time 
I love that movie. It, it's it's, so it's really good. It's, it's so really good. good. One of Jack Black's best, like honestly. Yeah, it's hilarious, heartfelt, and then the music is good yeah. and the plot is good. Yeah, Ned Schneeble. Ned Schneeble. Is that Wiley, his name in it? I'm up. Nah. Oh man, no. Well, uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Joey, you. Me, I did Iron of. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, I have a bunch on here. I'm gonna leave off the ones that I've talked about, like we said. So I'm gonna go with. All right. Uh, I only picked three. So I couldn't. Okay, do I haven't I said this one. Just for the pop culture references and the the meme gold mine that it is, I'm gonna go ahead and say Shrek because Shrek. Uh, I got that one on there. <laughs> Somebody Shrek one and two. Told me. That was 2001, right? Yeah. Or two? Whatever. Yeah. That's that's Shrek early is a great there's only three, right? There's no there's No, four. there's like four or five. There's now, a fourth? Yeah. No, there's not five. I wait, I think it's like a like a really like let me check. Shrek low quality one, low. but and that's not one. You, you watch that again. You watch that first movie. It's not a kids' movie, man. I'll tell you that much. Oh. No, nah, there's a no, lot of stuff in there. <laughs> not at all. So uh is yeah it looks like there's a fifth movie yeah it's uh shrek forever after forever i don't remember i don't remember that at all i don't remember the that fourth either. one is with justin timberlake right or is yeah it- as arthur yeah which one was the third one wasn't that the one with rumpelstiltskin the third one or no oh, isn't that the fifth one who cares i'll be Where honest the whole universe yeah around. i watched the best the best ones were the first two. one and two after yeah. that it's i like, agree yeah those are some great movies um, for my third one, I went with Ocean's Eleven. Okay. Because All right. mm-hmm. I love Ocean's Eleven so much. A good I love heist the movie, dude. It is. It is heist peak, ensemble. Yeah, like peak ensemble cast, peak heist movie, peak like steal the biggest jewel from the biggest casino from the biggest bad guy, and then get the woman at the end, and then you have this amazing cast. It is. It is yeah. a recipe for success, Ocean's and they Eleven killed it. Was good. I love their switcheroos, like. Yeah. Oh, you think we're doing it over here, but we're really over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I it's love just it. It's so like in your face, like ridiculous, but it's great. And it, that's tough to do because it's tough to make it legit. I don't know how to explain this because they only show us on the on the camera what they want to show us. Yeah. So if it's a bad twist, we'll just be like, well, yeah. Obviously, you didn't show us. So. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I explained that. But they give you enough that you're like, Oh, oh, okay. I should have noticed show, that. Yeah. yeah, they'll show it like in the background while they're planning. They're like, yep. oh, what's that truck for? I'm like, yeah. oh, that's we're actually gonna be the cops that go in to stop it. Blah blah yeah. blah, blah. Love blah. it. Um. Okay, so is that is that everyone? Did we all do our? Yep. Turn, right? yeah. or did you okay. Do you did third one. Yeah. I did yeah. Uh, I'm gonna name off two real quick, and they're both Will Smith movies, or actually three. I'll do. I am Legend. I Robot. I am Legend. I, I Robot and Hancock. I had, uh, yo, I had ah, all three Hancock. of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Hancock. Uh, <laughs> Hancock's okay. I love, I Hancock. love Hancock. I mean, Charlie Steering, right? Charlie Steering. That's the, yep, yeah. yep. And, and, it's a and, great uh, Jason, super, Bateman. Jason Bateman. Yeah, great superhero movie without being a superhero movie. Yeah, I love that movie, which you don't get very often. I think that's a lot of fun. I think the first. I think everything was really good up until we found out she was she his was like long lost. Yeah. Then it just kind of fell apart, and it was just and like they, this end like, when of they're world together, fight. They're, they can't be together. They're, they're human. Yeah. The the theory, like the explanation behind it, was weird, but I still really like the movie. I'll like I'll watch Hancock. Yeah. It's a really cool movie. Yeah, yeah, if it's on, yeah. I'm watching. Yeah. You're right. It's a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, because he's such like a jerk. The, the whole beginning. time. <laughs> yeah. And then Jason Bateman is just Jason Bateman. And he's like sarcastic. That's just how he is, dude. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. So that's that's a lot of fun. And iRobot. Dude, that makes me think. So iRobot comes from um, the Electric Sheeps. Do they dream that book? Whatever it's called by Isaac Asimov. He has. Um, no. Philip K. Dick. Oh, it's a Philip K. Dick book. Okay. Well, my mind was going to Isaac Asimov. He created the Foundation series that those books I haven't read them. I want to. There's a show coming out um, this week on Apple TV based off of that, and it's like this super expansive sci-fi. Oh, is that what I've been I saw seeing? trailers for yeah, it. Trailer yeah, for yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I want to watch it, dude. It's like right Isn't up it our alley. Called out. the Foundation or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it's called. How does Apple TV work? Is that like another subscription service? Yeah, it is, but I believe it's it's free for a bit. I don't know. 
I think if you when like you, a, whenever you get a new Apple device, you get like a month or two for free of Apple TV. That's where oh, okay. Ted Lasso's at. Yeah. So it's cheaper to just buy a subscription. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fairly cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I could throw two more Tom Hanks movies. I have a way, few in like. there too. Castaway. Yeah. So Castaway and Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, I have Catch Me If You yeah, Can. Yeah, yeah. Catch Me If You Can. I had I Am Legend. I had all that. I have Spider Man 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. I got, um, obviously, Cloverfield, my favorite movie. Ooh. Um, Jumper. Cloverfield. Um, I had Jumper. 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 Awesome. And I left off Dark Knight because I think all of us would agree Ooh. that's like, you know. I have uh, uh, um, uh, Unbreakable. Okay. Zool- uh, Zoolander. Wait. Unbreakable. Unbreakable Bruce Willis? Yeah. yeah. Came out in 2000. I was gonna say that's a two thousand. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's probably my favorite M Night Shyamalan movie. Oh, I yeah. should put Signs Great. up in there, bro. Signs. Signs. Okay. Signs. The rewatchability of Signs it does not age well. I don't want to watch it since you told me that. I haven't watched. it. I watched it again a while ago. <laughs> Crystal, and like, I'm like, hmm. this movie is Yikes. great. It's got no. some good scenes, but it's like it's not like. You gotta oh, remember also, it's in the middle. Okay, Darian. On your little road trip, how much you hated Pennsylvania? Signs is in Pennsylvania in like farm country <laughs> cornfields. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Like, so it's there's in not a lot head, going signs on. Signs was the, amazing. The cornfield scene in Signs oh is God. great. Even like rewatching it now, the cornfield and the birthday party. Great. The birthday party to this day freaks that me out. other scene, but it's still like in your, my head. It's way creepier than it is when you rewatch the movie yeah. and you're like. Yeah. Oh. Uh. But okay. when yeah. you watched it for the first time, you're like, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Was that was that all of them? Um, Did you have wh- more? Uh, oh. If Joey has more, he can go. Mm. Zoolander was the only other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zoolander. <laughs> Zoolander. Zoolander's <laughs> great. If you're in yeah. the mood to watch Zoolander, it's it's great. It's like the information's in the computer. They start breaking the computer. <laughs> the computer. <laughs> so like, what is this? A school for ants? <laughs> Just the stupidest jokes, but so they're done so dumb. well. Um, I have another one. Uh, we got to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Drinks a coffee. Just <laughs> <laughs> burning his face. Dinosaur. <laughs> Yes. Oh my oh, god. One of my favorite Aladar, movies. I still watch that. Aladar. Irma, yes. Right? Oh my I goodness. Still watch Joey, that. did you tell me you watched Dinosaur? <sighs> look up look Dinosaur up the, the, like, was amazing. That's Wait. on Disney, I think. Wendy Wait, hates I, it. She hates the animation. I love whoa. that movie. Holy crap. Dinosaur. Whoa. I watched Dinosaur on VHS so much. Me it's too. not even funny. With the little lemur. The beginning yeah. of the movie when the when they're yes. watching the meteor strike come and they're like, yeah. oh, oh my goodness, yes, my ah, you Dinosaur. memory unlocked. That's You're a welcome. beautiful feeling, dude. Dinosaur That's welcome. Beautiful. Yeah, dude. I mean, you can do so many old Disney Disney Oh my god, movies. my heart. <laughs> Finding Nemo was two thousand three. You know what I mean? Like, Whoa. yeah, yeah. In I like, when they finally break through to the promised land or whatever, where they take that rock and they see it, and then they're, and when they're swimming, when they're, they're fighting oh. the carnivore. And they're like, oh, together. And they're all, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. There's, oh my goodness. I mean, Disney is Disney. And there's, like, the Disney classics are what they are. They're, yeah. like, classics for a reason. But I really, really love the, like, hidden gems of Disney. Like, Treasure Planet, Atlantis. Those are the movies that people don't really talk about very Those much. are genuinely hidden gems. But they're very, very, very good. Yeah. I love those kinds of Disney with dinosaurs. Who talks about dinosaur anymore? So those are Disney, okay? Not yeah. not Pixar, but they're Disney. no, 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 they're Disney. Disney. Those are Disney movies. Yeah. So Disney probably has a much well, yeah, that's obvious. They have a much more expensive mm. animated yeah. movie list. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Than Pixar. All right. Yeah. Well, is that is that uh, is that all of our movies? No, man. You gotta mention Anchorman, bro. Come on, come on. I had it on there. Yeah. Yeah. I had Hot Rod too. There's so many more. There's so many, but I know. That's why I wanted to go. You yeah. kind of want to go top three ever, but at the ooh, same time, ooh, it's yeah, like it's hard. I got another one. It is hard to toss in there. King Kong. Yep. With uh, Jack Black and Adrian, Adrian Brody. Brody. And was that? Was, it's not, not, I it's not Nicole that Kidman. Movie. Who's? It is I, Nicole I get, Kidman. Was it Nicole Kidman? Yeah, the the Adrian Brody's love interest or Naomi Watts. Oh, it's, it's Naomi. I it's always Naomi get them Watts. confused. You're right. I always get them confused. I think it's Naomi Watts. 
Because Naomi Watts is in The Impossible. Yes. Oh, no. man. No, Nicole Kidman is in The Impossible, I think. Hold on. I think, <laughs> yeah. Kong. I'm pretty sure. It's a, a Nicole Kidman, um, Tom... Uh, Naomi Watts. Tom it's Holland. Naomi Watts. Yep. In and then the you're Impossible? right. No, in King Kong. Yeah. I'm going to check The Impossible now. You and McGregor. It's another Naomi Watts. It is Naomi Watts. What in the world does Nicole Kidman do? She just fakes being <laughs> Naomi Watts? It's crazy. She just walks around as a doppelganger. <laughs> yeah. But um, so King, King Kong, Kong is great. That's, movie. that's Peter Jackson. Yes. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. So he that went movie, from Lord of the Rings two years later, does King Kong. Peter Jackson directed Lord of the Rings? Yeah. That's his, are, that's, that's his that's, magnus opus, his magnum opus really? or whatever it's called. That's his like. Oh, I didn't he's, know that. Yeah, he's the same. That put him on the map. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He did those movies. I As much as I love um, King Kong, that movie gave me nightmares for about a week. The insects? No. The indigenous people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same, bro. Yeah, same. Yeah. That yeah. movie freaked me the heck out. The scene where the, the guy was like pole vaulting through the ocean to get onto their ship. No, thank you. Did to this day, movie, I don't think I've watched that absolutely scene fully. Absolutely mortifies me did you ever play the game mortifies me hell no what <laughs> i did there's a game, yeah, I did. <laughs> game. you know what oh what? they're in there wesley oh rented goodness. it i remember we would, uh, watch i rented it. it too from the video store that was down by my house yeah, you had blockbuster? The, the blockbuster or no yours was hollywood video game oh where the, it like was one horses, of those smaller right? ones yeah the horse statue yeah I that's where we always used to house. rent movies and where stuff. where the yellow blinking light King Kong. the the mm-hmm. never-ending that, yellow like, blinking yeah. light yeah yeah wow, are they dude. are they in the game too yeah yeah they are oh, yeah hell. you play as adrian brody with like a rifle and stuff yeah. mm-hmm. well i don't know about the indigenous people i didn't get far because i couldn't say it was a rented game you. yeah screw that mess <laughs> wow, thank man. you thank you i had i remember oh. you actually slept in my uh we went to watch it together you and i darian I you slept remember. over my house and we both had to sleep in my parents room <laughs> i was shook that scene had me shook that scene my was- core not okay. The scene that had me oh was God. the was the like the giant millipede centipede yeah. thing. <sighs> that was gross. That was gross. But the well, other I, I hate so insects. I can't do insects, so it's like that. Oh my God, he's the cook. That was Andy Circus. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Andy Circus. Yeah. He was the one that got eaten by the the worm. Yeah, the worm uh, thing. That scene gets me to this day. That's they wild. did such a good job with that movie, dude. Holy cow! Freaking Jack Black was the film. He did amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing uh, at this. Was love that killed the beast, mm-hmm. and then this guy at the end of the movie that takes credit for Adrian Brody's like saving day. He goes on the stage and they introduce him as the one that captured King Kong. Yeah. He's just the actor. He was legitimately yeah. the actor. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, last uh, minute throw in. Ringo. Ringo <laughs> thank said, you, "Thank you, thank you." So that's it. Thank you, Ringo. Um. Yeah, so we got everything covered. We mentioned the announcements earlier. Joe, you want to you want to close it out for us? Er, thanks for listening guys thanks for watching if you're watching cool everybody on every single app follow us let us know Tony, if you're gonna be on that podcast box, on this episode we can't, we can't True. leave you out yeah love you pop cool. <laughs> uh again let, let us know if you're gonna be in the hundredth episode whatever let wiley know yeah hundredth episode hundredth one year episode or one, one year, year. what the heck we're on like 50 not yeah. even <laughs> yeah not the whole end. all right all right yeah definitely right. reach out to any one of us individually we'll get you set up with it um uh, what is the date that we agreed on? November. It's 4th? yeah. It's not on the one year because yeah. I won't be here. There's there's a lot of us that are going to be traveling. Um, it's it going to be in November. So November we will 4th. be. Re- it's we're going to re- we c- record on Thursday nights for those who don't know. So if you mm-hmm. are available on Thursday nights, it'll be November fourth. Okay. Who's yelling in the back? So, this Jace in the back. No, no, that was my. No, sound. it's a oh, voice was thing. Sound. Oh. Yeah. Listen, listen. Get your work straight, Jack. <laughs> you should have played that when he was trying to say did he i know yeah. i know i found it later yeah. and direct um, mm-hmm. anyways but, thanks uh, again guys that's gonna be lights on the light bulb podcast i guess your work's great jack <laughs>